And just like that, we are back online, back streaming, and I'm super excited to be here. My name is Kimisei, and I'm here with my with one of my favorite wizards. There he is. Wow, for some reason, OBS is just taking a moment to get that locked on screen. But anyways, I am back, and we are here to play some Wizard 101. Now, some of you out there might be saying, um, hey, Kimisei, it's uh, Wednesday. You were supposed to be here Tuesday, and you would be... You'd be um, right. <laughs> I, would, I would normally have been here Wednesday, but I'll be honest with you. Yesterday I got home from summer school and I just had a migraine, so I laid down, I relaxed, and I really just didn't do anything all afternoon. So, you know, that happens. Have you ever had a migraine? Have you ever had a headache? You know, sometimes it's too much, and I just had to take a break yesterday, unfortunately. But I really missed doing the stream, so I, so I made sure to um, go ahead and schedule this afternoon clear so I could get online and we could play some Wizard 101 together and have some fun and do some chatting. So I hope that um, if you're able to make it today, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I hope you guys are ready to watch some Wizard 101. I am so, so thrilled about it. Now, let's see here. What I'm doing right now is we are taking a gander at all the, at, at my gardening because i got to take care of this. And I just got online, so I really haven't had a chance to do it. Usually I try to take care of this stuff before we get started today. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it right now and just go, ahead and just go ahead and collect some harvest from them really quick. You know, and here's my two um, potato, my mashed, my, yeah, my couch potatoes. And they're doing good. My fish on a vine, my elephant ears. You know, so the so why why do I why do I farm these particular guys? Well, let me give you a little bit of insight since we happen to be here and we haven't really talked about it. I farm my couch potatoes for mega snacks. Mega snacks are the best pet snacks in the game. They give your pets tons and tons and tons of experience when you use them. And when you combine those with, um, if you're a membership, if you have membership and you combine those with like double pet experience weekend. It's a really great way to level up your pets much quicker than normal. So that's one of the reasons why I'm farming couch potatoes, because I get mega snacks from them. It's like the easiest way to get mega snacks. I would never recommend buy the mega, the mega, smack, the neg, mega snack snack bundle. It's not worth it for crowns. I don't think it's worth it. Especially if you just get enough of these guys, you'll be able to get them. Now, I do the elephant ears because even though I don't get the level 9 mega snacks from them, I do get level 8 mega snacks from the evil elephant ears. So those are pretty good. And the fish, they just look funny. So I farm the fish. Okay. Anyway, so I am here today, and I'm here to have a lot of fun. I'm excited. We are in part 6 of Azteco, so we are, we are quickly making some making some rounds here. I'm super excited. We are in Cloudburst Forest now. But before we get any of that, let's go ahead and let's take a look at our wizard and do a quick stat run to see where we're at. We are at level 89. And look at that. We only have two bars left in our experience. We are going to hit level 90 today. So that is good news because that means we are close to going ahead and going taking care of Tartarus so we can start farming Tartarus for some of that gear. We can start our um, death, our death spell... Um, what do you call it? Our death, our, our death spell secondary school um, strategy, and because we got that um, exalted amulet of death, so that's going to be great. And we've got 23 training points to spend that on, so it's going to be fantastic. Now, nothing else has changed. I haven't changed any gear since the last time I spoke with you. When I hit level 90, I'm going to go ahead and look for other gear and see if there might be some better options as I also try to farm Tartarus. Tartarus is tough to farm, so we'll do what we can. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a bunch of gear. Now, the next really big gear thing is level 100 when we go to um, oh, um, Darkmoor, which is considered one of the very best gear sets in the game, so I'm very, very much looking for that. Block ring's the same, arm piercing's the same, healing in and out, still the same. And the 90, and we have still have the same 94% pips. So there we are. That is where our Archmage, our level 89 sorcerer is. I say, before we get into everything, let's stop and take a look at the badges and let's find our, well, actually, badge, finding badges is really more of a personal thing. You know, you have to, because you, you want to put badges on your like. Like right now, I've been running with the, um, 
the hotshot monstrologist. Although I'm a dexterous monstrologist, just so you know, um, I've been running around the hotshot monstrologist right now as my main my main badge. But maybe there's another one to put on. I mean, there's a lot of good ones in there. Hotshot monstrologist. I like it when the people ask me about that. It's kind of fun, and that's 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 a big reason why I do badges, anyways, is just to see what people. Let's see your pet hatching badges. I'm terrible. I'm like a rookie pet owner. Oh my gosh. Uh, yes. No. Um, not not doing not doing pet badges. Yep. But um, there's lots of other good ones. Ooh, crafting. There's 12 crafting badges. Yeah, I'm barely a legendary. Oh boy, we got a lot of ways to go here on this, don't we? Um, let's see here. And let's see. Oh, Avalon badges. Ooh, da, 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 da. Mushu badges. Yeah, I think I'm happy with what we got right now. Skeleton key badges. I'm really awful there. Four dungeon badges. Yep. I still got one more. Ooh, the five boxes badges. I'm the honorary boson. Harbinger, har, harbinger of death. Surge projector. Fire starter. I never, I didn't get the last one. Though. Okay, anyways, let's get going, guys. We got some, we got some adventuring to do. So, uh, this is the easy way for me to get to where I want to go. We're going to go ahead and hit quit here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just log back into my wizard. And it'll take us right back to where we left off in Azteca, which is where I want to be. And here we go. We want to talk to Onyx, Rain, Sun, and Cloudburst Forest. Is that where we're at? Let's check our quest. Make sure that's the main quest line. Yes, it is. Ooh, there's Kathleen Wilder's cottage. That's interesting. We, we saw her. We'll see her a little bit later. Nice. Younglings, green... Whoa, we got a lot to do. Let's go talk to... Um, Onyx Rain Sun, okay? Because we are trying to... What are we trying to do right now? You know what? I totally forgot what we're trying to do. She'll tell us. Yeah, she'll tell us what's going on. There she is right down there. Okay, so what has everybody been doing? Has everybody had a good weekend? I know my weekend's been fairly well fun. Done. I'm glad poison water flowers dark Very good. Put you off your game. Yep, no, we're good. Well done. I'm glad poison water flowers dark. Okay. You need to defeat more of the evil winds. The Tewan One of spirits to reach the, the second, second cave. cave. The cave is home to a hungry cave. It's always got to defeat something, don't you? to reach the altar at the back of his cave. Drop the pulp of the prickly pear cactus okay. onto Ooh, the we're going to get a pet out of this one. Release an emblem glyph that we need. Okay, hey, so we're going to go defeat the Tehuano the, the, the Tehuano spirit in the cloud burst forest. Oh, there's some, some, some Tehuano spirits. Let's make sure we have the correct deck up. There we go. That's the deck we want to go with. Let's go hammer some Tehuano, Tehuano spirits and move on. So, very, very good. It is a beautiful day, and I am super excited to be playing some Wizard 101. Looks like we got somebody to do some fighting with us. That's always good, because it's going to make the fight go just that much faster. Okay, so let's see how this is going to work here. Now, um, I'm feeling much better, so if you're wondering... Oh, Iridian Willow! Nice to see you. Thank you so much. You know what? I've actually followed you on Twitter, Iridian, I think. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Thanks for hopping there and chat. What are you doing today? Me, I'm just kind of enjoying my afternoon because I didn't because I finished summer school this morning with my students, and I'm just having some fun playing. Oh, you follow me too? Okay, fantastic. <laughs> okay, let's see here. What is the best pair of shoes? Okay, fantastic. Well, good, good. So, uh, has your day been very good, Iridian? Let's see here. My day has been fairly solid so far. I'm been enjoying myself. Very nice of you to hop into chat and say hi. You know, it's, it's not my one of my regular chat. It's not one of my regular stream days. So, oh, game day for you too. Fantastic for you. Yeah, we ended what a week, two weeks ago, and um, we start our summer school m Monday. Well, you got to give yourself a day off. I know how that goes. They can they can kind of drain you. We were at we were at distance learning pretty much the entire last two months of school so pretty much all april all may i was just doing stuff online with my students and that was that was fun it was okay we had good times it definitely get told me what i needed to adjust for next year in case we had to in case we had to change it up right now we're waiting for our school board to tell us what our school calendar is going to look like this next year so they were supposed to have a meeting this week and they haven't released anything yet so it's like hmm how is this going to turn out yeah but i'm pretty excited about it. It should be pretty good. Reverend Hayes, thank you so much. How you doing, Reverend Hayes? Thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, it's, it is hard with younger kids. Yeah, I know what you mean. 
but I don't know what's worse, younger kids who, who want to do it, but they're just having a hard time doing it, or junior high kids who just don't do it. Fantastic, Reverend Hayes. You are awesome. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Thanks for hopping in, and thank you so much for, bring, for, for the raid there. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah. My, you know, like my kids last month, because I, I teach junior high eighth grade, um, the, first, the, fir the first set of stuff for the, like the first month, I got pretty much all my stuff turned in. Then they stopped doing it. Oh, well, thank you very much, Asian Ninja Bear. I love that. That is an awesome call name you have there, Asian Ninja Bear. Yeah, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I try to have fun, you know, and, um, you know, it's, we, try to, we try to blow some stuff up and, you know, do some things that the kids don't expect there to get their attention. It's a lot of fun. I, I enjoy teaching science. It's one of the best, best parts of my year. Although, I'll tell you what, the last two months just doing it from home and doing it online wasn't nearly as much fun. Well, thank you so much, Asian Ninja Bear. That's awesome. Reverend Hayes in the house. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. Very good. How long have I been playing Wiz? Oh, do you want to hear a Wiz story? Well, I've been playing Wiz on and off now since 2008. My oldest daughter, who just um, graduated with her engineering degree this last month, she, when she was a little sixth grader, she said, Dad, can we start playing Wizard 101? It looks like a lot of fun. And so, you know, I said, okay, so let's check it out. So we've been, um, we've been playing quite a lot. Nick, how you doing? Thank you for hopping in. Nice seeing you in chat there. Sub science man, so that's awesome. Okay, let's go in here. Let's, let's, get, let's get a fight on, right? Okay, that's very, very cool. Yeah, so I've been playing since 2008 on and off. Um, it's kind of funny because... Oops. He was going to tell me to team up. So I'll just go ahead and go out because I'd rather just do that. Sorry, trying to do three things at once. Yeah, so fan, I'm doing great. Okay, let's see here. Um, yeah, questing. So did I get on to Eric? There we go. Okay, awesome. So do your students know? Okay, so off and on since 2008. Yeah, been a long time. Do your students know I stream on Twitch? They do, and sometimes they top in, and sometimes they don't. The you know, I don't know if you know junior high kids, but they tend to be very um, interesting as a bunch, you know. And um, I got some of them that are pretty regular. Uh, they a lot of them like my YouTube channel. So what they'll do is they'll spend a lot of time watching my YouTube stuff, which includes my Let's Plays and some of my um, my some of my series. Like I got a. I got a new episode coming up much later tonight for my um, my death PvP series I start as I'm learning how to do PvP since I've never really been a big PvP person. Oh, you don't tell your kids anything about my online life? <laughs> well, you know what? When I first started my um, whole YouTube thing, Iridian, when I first started my whole YouTube thing, um, I wasn't telling them for like a couple months. Then they started figuring it out. And junior high kids, they're kind of like um, they're kind of like dogs with a bone. They won't let it go. You know. So I finally had to just you know get it out there get it done so i could like move on with class because i don't have time in class to talk about youtube we're, we're busy we got to teach <laughs> so you know so yeah i so i so i started talking about it so i i brought it up in class from time to time and they have fun like every year when i get a new like um, i've been doing my youtube channel for about three years now we're getting ready to go into my third year at the beginning of every year my new at my new eighth graders get all freaked out and suddenly i get a huge surge in subs for a little while you know, and it's it's um, it's fun, you know, but um, sometimes I almost wish I don't do it because they, they don't it doesn't really turn into views most of the time, you know. So it's kind of, I'm kind of like half half um, a, there, a lot of it does turn into some views, but not as not nearly as much as I'd like it to. But, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And you know what we and you know what? I don't mind. Like if we have off time and we can, we'll talk games and stuff in class. You know, uh, mine's always, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a big Minecraft player as well. And uh, my my Let's Play, I've been doing my Let's Play now. We're on our third season on my Minecraft Let's Play on, on YouTube, and I stream that twice a week as well. So it's a lot of fun. Um, probably the funniest year was the year that they decided, Mr. Art, uh, can you say, you need to play Fortnite. I said, I really don't like Fortnite. I mean, I'm not very good at shooters. I, I'm really lousy at those games. Well, and that turned into four months of me playing Fortnite on and off, um, streaming it once a week and making a few videos and stuff, and it was... It was crazy. It was crazy stuff, but we had we had tons of fun playing Fortnite on it, playing playing Fortnite with the kids on Friday nights. I'd stream with them, and um, I was terrible. They'd carry me some wins and stuff, and finally it kind of it, it got old, so nobody'd tune in anymore. So I said, "Hey, it's not worth streaming Fortnite Fortnite anymore." So I pushed it off. Oh yeah, Minecraft. Minecraft's fun. 
Well, that's very nice Asian ninja bear. Asian, you know, but I, I, still, I still work my students pretty hard. I work them to know the stuff. It's, it's um, you know, I, 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 I can be the teacher that's on your, that's, that's all over you quite a bit to make sure you're turning your work in. So, yep. Thank you, Iridian. I appreciate it. Yeah, I try, I try to watch for you from time to time. I just haven't had a chance to catch you online when I've been online as well. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for stopping in. Serial Killer. I'd like to have a teacher also who plays video games. Well, there's a lot more teachers who play video games. I know at my school, I can name another five teachers that, I mean, they're not streamers or anything, but they do like to get online and they'll play PUBG. They'll play um, Fortnite. They'll play a lot of the shooters and stuff. So if you're lucky, you can see them. You have a Minecraft server for your subs? Yeah, I have a Minecraft server that I run with people who are interested in playing with me right now. I'm thinking of actually working up a, a much a much bigger server. I just got to find some people who help me moderate it and everything. That way we can have a that way that server is dedicated for subs and subscribers um, and and my and like Minecraft members and stuff like that. I'm thinking about that, you know. So I haven't haven't quite haven't quite you know gone straight into it. But my Let's Play, I have a lot of people that. I've come to know over the over the years who um, I who I said okay yeah you seem like a good enough person you can you can play in my server and right now I think we're running about 14 people in my server right now that I use for my let's play it's a whitelist it's a lot of fun you know and if you like this content if you like if you like a little bit of what I'm about um, I do stream four times a week I usually streams on Tuesdays I just missed Tuesday this week so I'm picking it up on Wednesday and Saturdays those are my um, Wizard 101 game I've been taking my Balance Wizard from zero, and we're going to max them out. And then my Minecraft I do on Fridays and on Sundays. And do I do Java? Yes, it is Java Edition, full-on Java Edition. That is um, that is my preferred preferred event. Okay, let's see here. Let's just go ahead and um, raw these guys, take the heat off them. Yep. Wow, it's Wednesday. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, I, I remember. Um, Yurak, right? Yes, I want to pronounce it right. Yurak is in the house. Thank you. I'm so happy to see you there. I was, you know, I was thinking I was missing some of my regulars because I decided to hop on on Wednesday to do a makeup stream for Tuesday. But hey, I, I'm, I'm seeing some of my regulars in there. Well, well, awesome. It's so, so happy to see all the new names up there. I think I've seen Serial Killer before, but Raven, Reverend Hayes and Nick SJS. So happy to see you guys in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting close. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're act awesome. So glad that you were able to take some time out and catch me streaming again today. Has your has you have you had a good few days since the last time we saw you? Hopefully you have. I know I've been doing pretty good. Let's see here. Now let's see. Oh, mostly lurking because you're working. Oh, there you go. Thank you so much, Iridian Willow, for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're tired, but you're okay. I understand what you mean. Like yesterday, um, usually I, I really I love streaming on Tuesdays. It's a really good day for me to stream on in most cases, but I wasn't able to stream any on Tuesday because I got my had got myself stuck with a migraine. That is so awesome, Reverend Hayes. Thank you so much for the subscription. That is killer. I appreciate that. Fantastic. I hope you continue to have a great day. Hype, hype, yeah, Asian Bear. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I had a big migraine yesterday, so I. You know, I just decided to take it easy. And boy, am I happy that I decided to go ahead and push my stream day today and get on because I'm meeting so many awesome people in chat today. It's absolutely fantastic. Very, very good. Fantastic. Well, let's see here. Um, okay, so one of the things I really like to do during my stream is I like to throw out a question of the hour. And we are now still in the first hour. And I haven't even had a chance to throw my question of the hour yet. But I'm going to throw this out to you guys in chat. And if you want to join in, that's fantastic. If you want to talk about some other things, like how long I've been playing Minecraft, what my favorite wizards are, I'm all about that. Or, um, or even some Wizard 101. So here's our question for the hour. A question for the hour today is, what do you like to do in the spring? Because, well, actually, let's make that summer. What do you like to do in the summer since we're hitting, since we're really just hitting that Kessel so We're hitting summer hard. So let me know in chat, guys, as we go through. Of course, you can talk about any of the other things that have been popping up. Or if you want to do some Minecraft or Wizard 101 talk, I'm all there. You seem like a genuinely nice guy. Well, Grandpa vibes. Well, I'm not nearly that old yet for Grandpa, but I appreciate that. You know, you, sometimes you just got to own what you got. <laughs> 
Very cool. Thank you so much, Reverend Hayes. Yeah, so I would love to know, what what are the different things you guys love to do in the summer because the summer's hitting? And I can tell because, you know, views are going down a little bit on YouTube, so people are actually getting out of the house now and everything, which I'm pretty excited. I hope a lot of you are actually getting out because this quarantine stuff, I know across the states, has kind of like gotten us all like, oh, but it's fantastic now that, that you guys can get out. So what do you guys like doing the server? Thank you, Nick. Let me check my back. Yes, I feel like I'm at a good position. Got my lumbar support in, you know. Um, I'm set here for a nice long stream. Yeah, so let me know, guys. What do you guys like during the summer? Fantastic. Okay, now let's see here. So I guess while, while we're waiting for chat to fill up, I'm going to go ahead and pass that right there. Okay, so... Um, so, how long I've been playing Wizard 101? I started back in 2008. Um, you know, me and my daughter, we played for years. We took both our wizards, we maxed them out, which I think at the time when we finally maxed them out was right around level 60, I think. So, level 60, I believe, was it, or was it level 50? It was one of those two. It was either level 50 or level 60. And so, we maxed both our wizards out. It was fantastic, you know. And then another update came up, and I think it moved it up to level 60, and we started, and we played, and then we started new wizards, and I've been, so ever since then, I've on and off every few years. I've been getting on on and playing Minecraft. I'm playing some Wizard 101. My highest level wizard, because this is always something somebody asks, is my level 98 Storm Wizard, because he was the last guy I maxed. I actually got him maxed at level 90, but I hadn't had a chance to go back and really work him a whole lot since that. Since then, and since then, the max level went up. Ah, Winter Guy Serial Killer, fantastic! You curl in your blank with a hot drink on. Summers, you hang out with the buddies, go out. Me too. That's good. Summer guy here. Fantastic, Nick. Iraq, you're not so much on separating days by genre. I think every day is the same. <laughs> okay, you sound like an indoor guy, Iraq. Absolutely. Why the wither? Man, I haven't seen you in forever. Thank you for hopping in and chat there. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I can't wait. I'm so close. I'm so close to Darkmoor and getting my power pips, Reverend. I, and yeah, it's just, you know. For some reason, it's just been rough. And plus, ever since I started this series up with my balance, I am loving playing my balance guy. This guy is totally killer. Oh, Nick, for sure, you got the gear it takes to grind. Yep, it does. Thank you so much, Iridian. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, go get some dinner. I will try to catch you again online. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. Let's finish this guy off. Okay, I bet you, you know. It's kind of funny when I'm going like this, and I'm and I'm not always paying attention to the game because I'm in, I'm I'm chatting with you guys. It's like, oops, it's my turn. I need to go ahead and take a turn here. So, very good, awesome. Yeah, well, yeah. So yeah, I'm getting so close to Darkmoor with my um, Storm guy. I just it's just I've spent most of my free time working on this guy during stream. And the way I like to play my stream is this guy is I do um, with my bounce guy. Um, I basically do all my um, all my main quests with him online. But then I do all my side questing off. That way I can go ahead and take care of that um, on side. Because I love doing side quests. I just I just know if I do side quests while streaming, I'll never max out this character. It'll take forever. So I do my side quest um, offline. Ah, uh, you're yeah, I figured you're an indoor guy by that comment, but you do yeah, cold weather. I agree. I I'm I'm really more of a summer. Summer's nice for some things, you know? Like if I like if I'm gonna go hang out by the pool or if I'm gonna go um, go down to the beach. I would rather doing it do it during the summer. That's just a better better part of the year for me to do stuff like that with. But um, I would rather. But for the most part, I'm more of a spring guy. I really like the way we're getting out of winter, but we're still in the. Well, I live in Texas, so we're still in the like you know um, low 60s as we go into spring. But we get all that nice rain and everything. I really love that time of the year. Spring is one of my favorites because it's cooler. I mean, there are moments I like winter, but for the mo but you know, I'll be honest with you, I'm 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 more of a spring guy myself. But I'd still love to know what you guys like doing summer because summer's a fantastic time of the year, and we, it's that time, right? It's that time. So let's go hold on. Let's see here. We got to go use the Azteca altar here. Fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of that. Good, we got that. Fantastic. Okay. Howling and stuff. Mm, when the silence is. Okay. The emblem glyph has a picture of a huge waterfall with a, with a tall stone, stone pillar, pillar beside it. Oh, bet you I bet you I've seen that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of here. 
Fantastic. Love an Azteca. Azteca is a great world. Do we have any Azteca fans out there? I've enjoyed that. Go Cowboys. Yep. If you're a football fan and you're not a Cowboy fan, you are living in enemy territory if you're out here in Texas, for sure. Although, a lot, you know, yeah, I got, I got a lot of friends who are diehard Cowboy fans. Me, I'm okay. I'm not big. I'm not that big of. I'm not that big of a football guy. You haven't been to Azteca yet, Hirak? Well, you from what I understand, you either love it or you hate it. Um, I really enjoy it. I like all the design work that they did. Ooh, I've got my new pet, a black spider. Okay, there you go. Hmm. Ooh, level. Yep, yep, not so great. I already got one of those. Okay. Climb up quickly and don't look down. I'll meet you up top. Okay, so we're climbing the sky pillar. Fantastic. Well, Yurak, I know when you get there, it'll be fun. You know, I enjoy it. I, I've always kind of liked Azteca, the different styles, the storyline. Some, you know, some people I've heard some people complain about the storyline, but I really kind of enjoy the it. Glyph fits perfectly Here we go. The groove on the cloud bearer pedestal. Fantastic. The sound is something you can barely. Okay, it's resonating in our bones apparently. The okay. sky pillar suddenly there we go. The Isn't that cool? Something That's so that neat. Huge should not move so quickly. Ah. But since you buy, oh, that's right, you do zones. That gives you the points for spending crowns. That's smart. I think, yeah, you know, I think you might have mentioned that before. Yeah, Nick, you like Azteca? I think it's pretty cool. I love the dinosaurs. Um, the parrots are cool, too. Very, very neat. Yeah. Uh, so you're stuck for now? I get that. I get that, Yurak. I understand. Yep. It does take, well, Azteca, I don't know if it takes super forever. Um, you know, these, these worlds... The later worlds just get so deep in content, and the fights are so much more drawn out. I don't think it's really meant to take longer. It just does because of the nature of the game, you know. Okay. The Shadow Queen's forces are strong here, as her attention is focused on the avian, avian king. king. That's what we're looking Fight for. Fight some of the beak breakers who have gone over to the shadow to get the lay of the land. Uh, okay. Branches. Get the lay of the land. You know what? These are parrots. So let's go ahead and do some double dip in here and we'll go ahead and nope not that one. Oh, I guess we do use this one okay and let's just go ahead and throw in some avian um, animus extracts okay beak breakers let's do this thing yeah chrysalis well thing is I really really like what I've seen in chrysalis I haven't totally finished chrysalis I'm probably about you know close to halfway done with it um, but so far, what I've liked, what I've seen about Chrysalis, I really, really like. But um, Azteca, I really enjoy it. So what's the Animus Extract? Oh, okay, Yurak. So one of the one of the really cool parts of the game that I think a lot of people underuse, okay, is Monstrology. And basically, um, what Monstrology allows you to do is to be able to summon monsters on your side. Or at least that's the way I use them. There's other ways you can use them, okay? But that's primarily the way that I prefer to use them myself. So for instance, these animus extracts allow us to extract animus from certain from certain monsters. So right now I bought the parrot animate extract, so any of the parrot avians, I can extract their animus, and once I have enough animus, I can turn it into a treasure card that summons them to fight with me. And what's great about the monstrology guys is that like I know like with my balance character, I can summon my regular minion like the balance minion you get, that's a pretty cool minion anyways, you know. Um, I can go ahead and summon them, but I can also summon a monster to fight beside me. So like if I'm in a solo fight and I'm having trouble, I can summon my minion and summon one of these guys once I've created a treasure card out of it. So I can actually have two, um, peop two, of the two different types of minions fighting with me. One, my regular minion, and two, my monstrology minion. And um, so basically extracting animus from the fights. Like there's four of these guys here. So if I use raw, I can probably extract about three or four animus out of these guys. And most of the time, if you're going to make a treasure card in, in there, you actually only need like four to six animus to make the treasure card. Monstrology stuff, I, I really like it. I think it's really worth it, especially if you're a uh, myth guy, because monstrology is kind of designed around myth spells. And the monstrology spells are myth spells which are kind of cool. So like right now, I'll take my extract parrot, I'll put it on raw. Notice raw now has the um, extraction thing. So now every monster that I hit with raw is going to extract some animus for me. So let's see how much we can get out of this one hit. And it's pretty, pretty nice because we're in a group fight situation, so we get a few more done, and it makes it a little bit easy. 
And um, what I do is I like to collect uh, I like to collect several different kinds. Like um, having fire minions is really nice. I like to get ice minions. Like I got these ice trees that I picked up over in Av- over in Winter Tusk that are real that have been really good minions for a while. Um, some fire branches that are that I got over in um, Avalon have those been pretty have, those have worked really really well today for a while. But um, this is the first time I've tried to do it with the parrots. So I'm going to extract try to extract enough animus out of these guys. Probably most of it's going to be offline. I'm just doing it now since I have to do the quests anyways. That way I can go ahead and have cards. And I'll kind of sh- I'll show you what I mean by after I finish this fight how to do that. So. So those guys, I would have collected some animus from. It's going to tell me here next time I go. I think it might have floated. I wasn't paying attention when I was talking to you all about it. Yeah, so yeah, talking a little bit of Wizard 101, a little bit about the mechanics here. You know, if you guys haven't used them in astrology, I, I recommend it, especially if you're doing a lot of solo stuff and you want to have that extra bit of power to finish off some of, some of the enemy, right? Wow, we didn't kill them off with those two? That's okay. We'll get them, we'll get them this next round. Okay, fantastic. Yep. So, for some of you who are just joining the joining the stream or just joining chat, just want to throw out to you guys again, question of the hour is, what do you like during like to do during the summer? And one of the things I threw out, one of the things I like to do during the summer is I like to go down to the beach when I get a chance. Now, it's been a few years because we live quite a ways away from the beach. We're not really anywhere near the beach. Oh, failed to collect. Okay, so these don't count as parrots. Interesting. Okay, so that doesn't work. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Very good. Well, okay, so that didn't work too well on them. So apparently those guys count as parrots. Apparently these beak breakers don't count as parrots. That's interesting, though. That is interesting. Okay. Very well, then, Wizard 101. I mean, they look like avians to me. (laughs) Those are, oh, humans dressed up. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Yurak. Uh, maybe I'm just a little bit slow on the uptake today. Fantastic. <laughs> Human stressed up. <laughs> very, very good. Alrighty then. So let's go ahead and... Um, oh, we still got to get two more. Wow. My goodness. Let's go ahead and get two more. I'm going to get into another fight. There we are. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this going. Do, 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 do. I could do that. Let's wait for raw, though. Let's wait for raw. Okay, well, I'm not going to try to extract any more animus out of those guys. You know, my volume is really low. Is my music on? Yeah, I guess it is. Hmm. It must be just in my headset. Let me turn it up a little bit more in my headset. There we go. Now I hear some volume going on. Okay, let's go ahead and get these guys ready for a big hit. Very good. Awesome. Well, wow. That's the tough thing about over the here headphones is, you know, sometimes you, my ears get a little itchy inside them because, well, I'll be honest with you, it's been really hot this week here where I live. In fact, today is, we, we had a little bit of a cool breeze come in, so it's been the coolest day in days, and it's about to get really hot over the next several days. I believe we have. Um, scheduled forecast is like 95 every day for the next five days so um, it's definitely hot if you notice behind me I've got a big fan blowing air at me because it's been hot Zenga is in the house yes I'm getting so close to the end of Azteca I'm excited about it Mr. Zenga Vlad fantastic to see you hopefully you are having a great day you are now one year older and I'm excited to see you global warming yeah I don't know Last two summers have actually been really, really nice out here in Texas. I mean, they've been warm, but not as hot. So, and um, actually, this last, yeah, this last winter was kind of mild, though. So, eh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure we're seeing a little bit of those effects out there for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and knock these guys out so we can move. I really love this tree forest village right here because I, I love how much, how different they made it from the um the germ jungle with the with the um apes and everything i do like the fact that they're they're paying attention fantastic you're having a great day oh windows is updating since you, <laughs> since your birthday nonstop. <laughs> how about me it's been fantastic you know yesterday i didn't get to stream like i usually do on tuesdays because i had a terrible migraine so i just went ahead and slept and rested and i didn't want to like not have my tuesday stream so i just pushed it today and it's been really great it's been fantastic seeing a lot of got got a bunch of new 
bunch of new subscribers. I mean, a bunch of new followers that hopped on. A new sub, which is fantastic. It's been a great day. In fact, let's just take a minute. I want to throw out a thank you to Reverend Hayes for the sub, um, Iridian Willow for the follow, uh, Mr. Mister for the follow, Nick for the follow, Asian Ninja Bear for the follow, uh, and Reverend Hayes again for the follow. Thank you guys for the follow today. I really appreciate it. Glad to have met you, and you guys are always welcome to hop in and chat and to enjoy yourself. So, yeah, that's how it's been, Zenga. So thank you very much for asking. I do appreciate it. Hey, I've got a question for you, Zenga. Our question for the first for this hour is, what do you like to do during the summer? I was talking about how I like to go down to the beach during the summer and go play in the waves. That's so much fun. We have a nice beach down in Texas. If I ever can get a chance to go down to it, I just... You know, we, we live a good, like, it's about a six-hour drive for me to get down to the coast so that I can go swimming. A six-hour drive. I mean, that's not too terrible, really. It's just got to, I just got to find the time to go do it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, let's see here. What do we got going here? Let's go ahead and power him up. Looks like we didn't quite get the kill on that last guy. We'll, we'll get him finished off. Okay, so what all is happening with us today? Let's see here. Very good. Thank you, Zenga. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, why did I do that? Yeah. All right, for, oh, Zengo. So, during the summer, you like to stay in your chair with a $3,000 PC, a fan, eating enjoyable food from your favorite kebab store. Very nice. Well, that, I'm, I'm, I, I, can, I can see the allure to that. that. That sounds like a very relaxing, enjoyable part of the day. Well, this guy's asking me stuff. Oh, they look like they are still nice. Okay. <laughs> Bad for me. Okay, no problem. Okay, very good. Well, let's go ahead and... I'm just going to throw a trap on him. Trap? Where's my trap? There's my trap there. Okay, very good. Well, that sounds like a fantastic summer day, Zanga. I can totally, totally understand it. Hey, thank you so much, Grizzly Bear 3819 I appreciate the follow. You're always welcome to hop in and chat anytime. Chat is wide open for anybody who's watching. I love to jump from topic to topic. It makes it a lot of fun. What's Zenga talking about? Oh, you mainly fall asleep for an hour on Sundays when you have your cheat day. <laughs> there you go. Man, you are the humorist, aren't you, sir? Okay, well, let's see here. Yeah, I'll just wait. We'll go ahead and um, I'll give them the, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and give them a blade there. Very nice. Okay. Oh, are they freeding us? That's just, yeah. Yeah, afreed me. Don't afreed them because they're about to hit you. Very good. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Alrighty, so let's hear. What are some other things I like to do during the summer that are really summer things? Well, I'll tell you what. One of the things I really like to do during the summer, um, and usually the summer's best time to do it, is I love to hit an amusement park. Like down where we live, we have a couple, there's a couple of Six Flags parks that are within driving distance from me, one in San Antonio, one in the Dallas area. And I love going up to those, those amusement parks and riding the roller coasters and um, the other fun rides, the, like the ones that drop you and stuff. That's always a good time. And summer's usually the best time to go do that because it's nice out there, especially if you hit it on a nice cool day or an overcast day or something like that. That's something I really enjoy doing during the summers. Ooh, the Rattler, yes, the Rattler down in um, San Antonio. That is not a good well, sign. Yeah, the Rattler down in San Antonio is pretty cool. Um, the, the, oh, what is it? The, oh, I forget the name of the one, the Cyclone. Oh, oh wow, that got people typing. Your, your amusement parks have cold drinks and ice cream stands. Yep, we do. We have lots of those. It's a lot of fun. Use energy before you level up, for sure. Yes. I don't have much energy left. Let's see here. If the Shadow Queen is able to enthrall or scare enough people into... We need to find a friendly bird. Ah, level 90. We've got it. Opposition to the shadow. Search the houses and see if you can find an ally. We need a helpful avian. Okay, so we're in good shape. We just got our invitation for Tartarus. We'll do that later. I'm excited. Um, you know what? Should we stop and go ahead and redo one of our decks? Hmm... Oh, you're, the park you're going to has a kebab store. That's the one you're talking about. Good. Well, that's awesome, Zanga. Fantastic. Okay, so let's search the avian house. Sorry, I'm tr doing a few things at the this same time. Ooh, boarded up. Of course it is. So let's go search a different avian house here in Alto Alto because we got to find somebody who's going to help us out, right? Right. 
That sounds that sounds like a lot of fun, Zanga kebabs. Yeah, kebabs aren't much of a thing down here in Texas. I think they could be a thing, you know. I think kebabs would mix out really well here, but I think the only place you find kebabs are certain specialty restaurants. This house nest is dark and boarded up. Well, there it's like nobody's home. One kilogram kebabs as well. So I'm assuming that's probably a pretty good size since you're excited about this that. House nest wow, is dark very and nice. Up. Wait, suddenly a light goes on inside, and someone emerges. Hello. Who is there? What do you want? There we go. We got somebody to talk to. Nice. The Shadow Queen led her armies here a short time ago. Five dollars a kebab. Very King cool. Neza to their will. Yes, the Shadow Queen I bet you that's a good kebab. Are now, are kebabs all the same meat? I mean, are you talking like hell. lamb? Or are you talking like some sort of beef? Me, I'm a chicken person. I'm real, I, I don't eat red meat myself. I pretty much just chicken and fish and vegetables. I grew, up, I grew up almost vegetarian. Really close to vegetarian. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk to Coil. Oops, up this way. Ah, yours is beef and chicken combined. That's not a bad way to go. I'm just not. I'm just not a beef person myself. Very good. You can tell you Zenga likes in his. Uh, okay. <laughs> Very good. Are you a veggie guy? Uh, That's a great way to go, Yurak. I mean, I that's super healthy here. stuff. Um, I was raised vegetarian for a long, long time, but my parents started introducing fish and chicken to our diets when I was, oh, I, I guess when I was, you know, going into going into elementary school. Okay, the Zolotl Tower. Ooh, vegan for a couple months. That's that's probably a challenge. I guess I guess it depends on how much you like some of that other stuff. Um, you know, I understand the whole vegan idea and everything. I just don't necessarily, you know, it's just not my thing. It's just not my thing. It's hard and expensive. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, trying to find stuff that's going to match that particular um, style of eating, you know. Especially, you know, there's so much stuff that has some sort of animal animal base in it. And vegan, you just can't do that. You know? Okay. How many more do I got to do? I got to do another one. Okay, let's go. Let's go find the one I missed. Must be down the hill. Yeah, let's go down the hill. Yeah, but I think I think if it's something that you know you really believe in, you're committed to it. I say go for it. You know, and um, I. But honestly, I mean, just if you want to get really really healthy, veg being a vegetarian is fantastic. It's it's really really good. Yeah, many things have some sort of animal based diet, and I don't think it's. I mean, I think if you're um, I think vegan's just an extreme, I mean, a real extreme idea. I think vegetarianism probably has one of the best um, balances because, you know, it doesn't necessarily throw out everything, you know, but you, but you get all the benefits of that type of diet. Mix of chicken, beef, hot mayo, garlic, mayo, pickles. Uh, they're, wow. And, of course, French fries. Zenga, you sounds like a, them all. sounds pretty I good there. Her. I know now. The big thing in Texas is burritos. We like our burritos down here. You know, I like getting some fajita chicken, throwing it in the burrito with some rice and some beans, some fresh pico de gallo, some hot salsa, some um, yeah, it is kind of a burrito, right? Yeah, um, some guacamole on it. Get that thing all nice and spicy, and mm, yeah, that's the way it is. Yeah, it sounds like a, a kebab. You just wrap that up, you got yourself a burrito to me. But that's awesome. Yeah, very cool. A wrap of kebab. Nice, nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and defeat some more some more of the beef breakers. Okay, so I think we're we're in good shape. Um I won't get on his fight. We'll go ahead and uh, well I guess I got stuck in this fight anyways. Uh, let me just say I'm sorry. Okay, very good. Now you're hungry. Yeah, me, I just had myself a bowl of ramen. Um, spicy miso broth ramen with a little bit of chicken in it. It turned out it turned out super yummy, you know. So I was pretty happy with that. That was my lunch today. Oh, and I also had like a I also had some um some spicy tuna sushi rolls. It was pretty good. Made made it go made it made it made it go for me. Yep. So I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty good until dinner tonight. And my wife said that we're having wraps of some sort. And usually when she says we're having wraps, that means we're gonna have chicken. It's probably gonna be grilled. And we're going to roll it up in a tortilla with all sorts of stuff. So 
Ah, ramen. There's a great place in the city, but it's closed. Oh, that's terrible. You know, um, the ramen place that I miss the most is I used to live up in Oregon, and we lived in Eugene, Oregon, which is a college town up there. Very gorgeous up there. That was when I was um, I was a store manager for a company called Guitar Center, and they had this ramen place where this where the guy who owned it he would make his noodles fresh every morning. So he'd make fresh noodles every morning. He would steep his broths all morning, and you get there for lunch, and it was so easy. Just pick out the type of bowl, pick out the toppings, pick out the broth, and it was the best ramen. I mean, just absolutely fabulous stuff. That was the saddest, when I when we moved from Oregon, the biggest saddest reason, uh, I mean, the biggest saddest thing about moving from Oregon was moving away from that ramen place. It was it was terrible. But the good news is, is now up in um up up in the Fort Worth area, up in Arlington actually, in the Fort Worth area, we found a really great ramen shop that we that we go to, and they've actually opened back up now since we're past the quarantine in that area. So I can't wait to go back up there and get me some some um really good stuff. You like the more traditional stuff? Yeah, the stuff we had in Oregon, that guy was traditional. I mean, you could you could see it. I mean, they did the he did the whole pork thing. Um, you had a vegetarian broth, a pork broth, or a um, he had three basic broths you could choose from. Um, he even had the nori, so you could add the nori, so you can make sure you could add the nori into your or the, sea, the seaweed into your into your soup, as well as um, they, they had gyozas as well. It was it was fantastic. You make your own ramen noodles and broth. Fantastic, Zenga, quite the chef. It sounds like it. Sounds like it. Usually go for the bonito base. Yeah, I prefer a bonito miso base. That's my favorite. Um, but I grew up on I grew up on miso soup. So I, I mean I love miso soup. So I mean if you say miso soup or even miso broth, I'm I'm just all over that stuff. But um, a, a good veggie base is pretty good too. Mm, yeah, that's that's a great way to go at your rack. You know, and a, another another noodle soup that I like that's really really good. You like your chili and pork base? Yeah, yeah. See, I'm not I'm not a pork eater though, so I pretty much stay away from that. You know, pork's one of those meats that if you don't grow up eating it, because pork has certain types of um, bacteria in it, even when you cook it, there's little things in there. If you don't grow up eating pork, your body never gets used to um, processing it. And so, um, like for instance, if I eat pork, and this has been going on since I was a college student, if I eat pork accidentally, oh my goodness, I will get so sick for a couple of days. It's, re it's ridiculous. It'll just make me sick for a couple days because my body never really got used to doing it. So it's always been something. Oh, you just like the taste of it, yeah. Well, you know, it's hard to find stuff where there isn't some sort of pork taste in your food. Like, I live in Texas, and I'll tell you what, you know, one of the things that they love in Mexican food is pork lard. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know what, whether you're making tamales or whether you're making charro beans or making refried beans, even if you cook without the pork at home, when you go out to eat, you're going to get some sort of pork, you know, from their base in, in, a, in a lot of the foods you eat, no matter what you do. It's just the way it is. Uh, Texas is a place of barbecue. Yes, for a lot of people, it is. Um, not for me. I'm not much of a barbecue person. Mostly bar barbecue, pork barbecue. Yeah, the, I think the official, the official barbecue, barbecue um, re, um, thing for the state is like brisket. I think brisket is... What everybody consider Texas barbecue, uh, you know, most people I know that it's bris brisket is the big thing. Ah, for your cheat day next week, you're going to get a three kilogram kebab. Well, Zango, you do that. Oh, corn on the claw, corn on the cob in those places. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, I love it when it's when it's corn on the cob season, and then you get the um. Come on, I thought I cast you. Um, corn in the bot when, when it's corn season and you get the fresh corn that's in those places because they got freshly husked. It's it's really really good. So much better than frozen stuff that's put out. Super yummy. Okay, yeah, three to four days. Well, there you go, Zenga. There you go. Everybody else, thank you for hanging out on the stream. I do appreciate it, guys. I just want to say thanks to everybody who stopped in the stream today. Um, I do want to do a shout out to my new follows. From Reverend Hayes, Asian Ninja Bear, Nick AJS, Mr. Mr. Iridian Willow, um, and Grizzly Bear. Thank you guys so much for the follow today. I do appreciate it. And I especially want to say a big thank you to Reverend Hayes for the sub. I hopefully you'll be having a fantastic day as well. I'm definitely going to be checking you out next time I see you online, Reverend Hayes. Fantastic. 
Okay, so what else is going on right here? Okay, yeah, looks like we're about done with these guys. Very good. Looks like I didn't even have to use raw. Gosh, I was ready to go do some raw. Ooh, shout out for Zenga for being a chef. Absolutely, Zenga. Got to include Zenga in there. Shout out for Zenga for a chef and for being a year older. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up some wisps. Looks like I got to have one more fight. There we go. Ooh, shout out Yurak for being hungry. <laughs> nice. Let's get the shout outs out. Fantastic. Got a little bit of hype going on there. Okay, apparently Eric needs some more of these guys as well. Let's go ahead and get them and get the stuff that we need. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. So we're up here in Alto Alto, and I think from Alto Alto we go up into the mountains. And um, we're getting pretty close to um, the last part of Azteca, as I recall. And I think the last fight in Azteca is pretty, pretty good, pretty strong dungeon. So I'll definitely be teaming up on that last dungeon. That'll be fun. So I'm looking forward to it. Okay. All righty. Wow, that first hour is like flying by me today. Thank you, everybody, because when my hours go slow, it's usually my fault. But when my streams go by fast, it's all because of you guys. So that's that's pretty awesome. Now, if you're just joining the stream, guys, and you're not that familiar with me, and you kind of like the content or like a little bit of what I do, um, I would love for you to go ahead and check out my YouTube channel. Kimmy Say, Kimmy Say Gaming is my YouTube channel. Okay. And on there, I have all of my um, Let's Play videos for my Minecraft server. So if you like Minecraft, that's where you can check out all that. I also have on there um, a lot of the some of the tutorials that I've worked on building. I'm, I'm looking to try to get a little bit better at those. I'm having I was having a lot of fun doing those. And I would also and you'll also find like my new Death PVP series that goes on there once a week. So you should go ahead and check it out there if you haven't seen it. Um, if you're not familiar with my streaming, I do stream four days a week. I stream two days here in Wizard 101, usually on Tuesdays and Saturdays. I just missed yesterday, so you're so you're getting a special extra stream this week. Thank you so, this week on Wednesday, or should I say a makeup stream, and Saturday morning. So um, I'm kind of hoping that maybe we can get far enough in Azteca today that maybe we can hit the end of Azteca by Saturday morning. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, if you like Minecraft, I stream Fridays and Sundays. It's a really chill stream. We do a lot of chat. We work on some projects on the server, um, have lots of fun. And, um, yeah, it's, it's great time. It's great time. So thank you, guys. And thank you, Zenga, for the, for the, for the pop-up down there. I appreciate that. Okay, so, nice. Let's let Raw finish this guy's off, maybe. Maybe. Did I critical? I didn't see if I critical or not. Uh, probably didn't. Nope, no critical. Okay, this is telling me I really need to get the Tartarus gear so I can raise my critical attacks again. You know, because it's, it's not, as, not as good as it used to be. Just not as good. Which means I have to fight longer. But that's okay. That's okay. So, um, very good. So, Wizard 101. I, I, I bet you a lot of you out there play Wizard 101 that are watching. And I love to get to know my audience a little better. So, I know we've heard this before. And I already know what Zenga's question. Thank you. Let me check my back. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Thank you there, Zenga. I already know Zenga's answer to this, but I'd love to know some of you other guys. What is your favorite school? What is your favorite school? I know Zenga, he is the death man. He is the man of death himself. So I already know what his answer is going to be. But for some of you who are, haven't jumped in on chat today, I would love to know what your favorite school is and why you like playing it. My favorite school, I'll be honest with you, is my myth school. I really love playing myth. You are the man of death, Zenga. Absolutely. Um... My first wizard, like when I first took the original test when I played way back in 2008, it put me at the myth school, and I've never looked back. I absolutely love playing the myth school, and that has to be like my favorite. But I'll be honest with you, through the whole process of playing with my New Balance character, I've really have come to have a strong appreciation for the Balance school. I really, really like my Balance wizard, and it's been a fantastic fantastic adventure with him but yeah i'm i'm a myth guy and i, I like myth because well especially because of monstrology and the whole theory behind myth. i also love their spells myth has cool cool spells irak ah follow your lead go back to shaman six cloud he will help you ah so you started to play with fire because of the weird test but fire is still your main but you like life oh very cool well life's a different different um different approach to the game than the fire for sure 
I think they're both fun schools. Um, I my fire guy, I, I got my fire guy all the way up to Zafaria before was well, the last time I played him, and I had tons of fun playing with him. My 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 fire guy is a lot of fun. Ah, your first character was death played until F2P was over, then got myth and got frustrated, so you couldn't get my myth twenty. Yeah, okay, I get. It. I'm with you there, Zenga. I'm absolutely with you there. Then let's do that. But yeah, life is cool, but it's a totally different play style than fire, though. Hmm. Toltec may know how to get in. Find him keeping quiet at his nest. Okay, so we're trying to sneak in to see the kings. Let's see how well we can make this work. Okay, you're not much of a damage guy. I get that. I get that. Yeah, life life is um yeah it's it's, it's not like that. You like support? Very cool. I'll tell you what. You guys are got you life support guys. You guys are so important to the game. Even though you mostly solo. <laughs> That is tough if you're mostly soloing with life. But Shaman was right to send you to me. There's a secret way in from the ah. library. You have to tangle with Shadow Weaver gliders to get their Spearbreaker blades. Okay, then, then we can, can beat the, the Spear Brigade. Barricade. Okay, well, there we are. We're going to fight these guys now, so we got to fight the gliders, and we need to get um, stuff from them. So let's do it. For your boy, life is useless. Well, Zanga, it's okay. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. Me, myself... You know, Life was the only character I really didn't get in there and complete. Or should I say, yeah, that I didn't really push really hard on. Um, I got so far with it, and it was just, ah, uh, it was okay. You know, and I actually deleted my Life character to start my Balance character for the stream series. And, um, yeah, it's been, it's been really, really good. And I'll tell you what, these ba the Balance, very, very nice character set. The toughest thing about Balance is when you do fight a Balance um, boss. Those can be kind of challenging sometimes, depending on your level of what you have available to you. It can be kind of challenging, but that's not any more challenging than if I was like a storm guy fighting a storm boss. You know, it's just it's just got to got to work a few extra steps and get your strategy straight so you can get the best effect out of it. Okay, Zenga, every time you hit, you get 50 of your HP back. Yep, I know, I know. That's why death is so great. Ah, when you get the money, you will probably buy an extra whiz slot and finally get the last school you haven't started. That's a great way to go. That's a great way to go. I'm, I I haven't been able to talk myself into going that way, so I've just I've just kept it at my six school uh, minute at my six school limit, which has been which has been good. I mean, if I ever get the if I ever get the um, scratch to go ahead and start a life again, I might I might go ahead and add that last slot for it. Ah, that was good. Okay, so uh, note my death, Zenga. I started all over. He's sitting at level 11 right now, and right and right now I'm trying to win some PvP patches. So I'm doing level 11 PvP, trying to um, get good at it or get passable at it. You know, um, right now good seems like a really far away goal that I'm not sure if I'll ever get to. Oh, you're talking with Yurak. Okay, he said that he will get his last character slot. Yeah, Yurak, have you uh, maxed out your? No, you haven't maxed it out because you haven't bought that area yet. Yeah, I don't think he's maxed out Zenga because he he's a um he buys the he buys the different sections of the game as they as they as different events pop up. So I know he hasn't gone all the way yet. Yeah, you don't have any of them maxed out. Yeah, that's that's what I remember you saying earlier. Yeah, absolutely. But still a great way to play if that works works best for you. I mean, when I subscribe, I'm usually playing quite a few hours, so I get a pretty I, I get pretty good amount of play time out of my out of my guy. Ah, uh, your death is mostly Mushu. Ah, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Life and ice in dragon. Nice, nice, nice. And your fire is an Avalon. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, so you got plenty of time to get those guys leveled up and take them on. Very nice. Okay, so we're about to go into hour number two. Okay, now let's see here. Okay, let's see. My turn again. Let's go ahead. Oh, I should just go ahead and use that. Dang it. Okay, well, that's fine. He's probably going to hit him and finish him off, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Ah, so you're in pet hatching mode right now. Yeah, I've, I've hatched a lot of pets with my, um, with my wizard recently, for sure, you know. I like pets. Pets are a lot of fun. Mirror Lake on repeat for golden snacks. You know, I got it. I don't... Last two times, I haven't gotten much out of Mirror Lake for 
for snacks. Gold's good for sure, but I haven't gotten a whole lot of snacks. I guess that's why I end up doing a lot of um, I end up doing farming for my mega snacks. That's been the primary way I do I, I work for mega snacks is farming. So my my um, couch potatoes and my uh, magma pea crops. I basically work those every time I get one. I bet you it did. Maybe I didn't look at Maybe I didn't see it in there because it got mixed up with my other mega snacks. I just didn't remember it showing up on my left hand screen when I was going when I was going through it. Yeah, but yeah, the mirror lake's pretty cool. I just end up farming, you know. Farming works okay. Okay, there we go. Get rid of one of them. Nice. Goodbye. Very good. Okay, so we're moving into the next hour. Okay, mirror. Oh, the last fight with the spiders gives two pixie sticks. Ah, yes, I remember the pixie sticks. Yes, I remember getting those. I didn't look at their stats very hard. Yeah, I think farming's the way. I think farming is probably the most efficient way to get um, mega snacks on a regular basis. That's always been my method. Okay, let's go break up the spear barricade. Spear barricade, here we go. Oh no, what did I do? I wasn't looking. Look, I thought I had space. I think it pulled me. Yeah, that's not so good. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and get my blade up. Okay, so you just bought a red farm. Yeah, the red farm is really, really good. Yeah, I got pulled though. Yep, got pulled. Yeah, too late. I zoomed right in like a f like a moth to the flame. But that's okay because we're going to we're going to knock these guys out and move past this quick, quick, quick. Yep. That's okay. Yeah, the red farm's pretty good. I have the red farm for my storm wizard and he farms quite a few couch potatoes and a lot of other things too there. Just kind of depends on what his mood in, but always he always has some couch potatoes farming and he always has some uh, magma peas farming. There we go. Let's get that going. Day one, I will make you a bowl of ramen. Oh, oh one day you will make me a bowl of ramen. Zenga, I would, I would be so appreciative of that. That'd be, that'd be such a kind thing for you to do. Would definitely not, not say, would definitely accept it in, in full regards to you for that. Well, that's very kind of you. Okay, let's see here. We got to take these guys down. Okay, if we critical, we're, we're we're done with this fight. Let's cross our fingers for the critical to hop in and to do some major damage. Let's go, raw. What are you gonna do? Ah, you're waiting to get to Mirage to get the to get the mashed potatoes. <laughs> the mashed potatoes, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, um, yeah. You can get couch potatoes in Winter Tusk if you fight the right mobs there. That's where I've gotten almost all my couch potatoes was going through Winter Tusk. You know, had plenty of them. Um, load up, load up my characters. Yep. And then um, the one of the few things I like paying crowns for are the magma piece. So I'll, I'll actually pay crowns to get the um, to get the evil magma piece. Okay, barricade, out of the way. Okay, now let's go to Toltec. Oh, let me down. There we go. Okay, let's not get pulled again. We've already done that before. There we go. There's Toltec Kalaud pointer right up here. Yep, evil magma peas. They give megas. Perimeter. Plus, they fit on a medium plot. So, um, what I'll do is I'll I will plant six of them at a time, and you can actually stack them too if you do if you um look that up. And so you only have to use an eight energy spell to water them and stuff, which is pretty which is kind of nice. So they're pretty good. Chris is in the house. Chris, thank you for so much for stopping by and checking out the stream. How has your day been? Oh, you have red berries that's supposed to give megas. Red berries. Which red berries do you have? Kind of curious about that. Because I'm always curious about finding something else to garden. Red berries. Hmm. You use the new way of gardening. Oh, what's the new way of gardening? Tell me, tell me more. Oh, it's been pretty good. How about yours? It's been fantastic, you know? feel like I'm finally making some progress. Yesterday I had like a big migraine, so I didn't stream yesterday like I usually do. So I just went ahead and pushed my stream day to today. But I'm feeling a lot better. You know, I got plenty of rest yesterday. You know, had another good day at school this morning, so it's been really good. You don't remember the name of the red berries? I get them from Mirror Lake. Okay, I'm going to have to check into that. Because that, 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 that catches my interest there. It is the shadow blight of Wizard City. Yes, I've been catching up on my reading in my spare time. Okay. Why do you ask? 
Okay, very good. So, we got a fight. Let's make sure that our deck is prepared for this type of fight. Oh, yeah. We're definitely prepared for it. Let's make sure we have some shields. Good, we have some shields. We're ready to go. Okay, so let's hear. I'll remember the name of the... Okay, have you... Oh, have you seen here on Twitch Midnight Stream? He taught me how... Oh, okay. No, but I, I'll check him out. I'll check that out. That sounds interesting. I don't know. You know, I've, I always assumed, you know, since I hadn't heard a lot about it, that the primary ones to farm if you want to get Mega Snacks are going to be the... um the couch potatoes or the evil magma peas but that's interesting i'm going to dig into that so tomorrow you're giving your books and then that's it you're done with school until sometime well good for you zenga knock that stuff out with me i'm you know i'm teaching summer school right now so i'm helping some students with math i get to do the math stuff and yeah the main is couch for sure i'm getting to do the math been teaching math every morning for the last several days and we got about another two weeks after this week of summer school so that's a lot of fun for me that's part of what i've been doing good job and then on um, this fall we get to go back into class not sure exactly how that's going to look i think we're still waiting for our school board to kind of give us the update on what on what the deal is what they're expecting there we go let's throw another shield because these are going to these are going to make this fight very good okay awesome that's that's good though that's good yeah couch potatoes Primary one, um, evil magma peas are really, really good. You always, you always get a, you always get a mega snack at um, Elder Harvest. And then if there's some other ones, I'm, I'm all for checking them out. I'm going to check those red berry thingies out and learn more about them as well. Okay, yeah, these guys are just hitting me left and right. I need to prep so that we can actually make sure we stomp them out. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put the balance blade up. Ah, uh, you haven't planted them? You just have a lot? Okay. The tough thing about couch potatoes is that they're large plots, you know? And so, for instance, um, I can plant 16 of them in one big circle and then use the, then, then I have to use the, the, big, um, the, the big watering one to get them all watered at the same time. Um, that's usually the challenge I have with couch potatoes. Uh, and since you saw they gave you megas, they didn't sell them. Yeah. Well, now that you're going to have the red um, farm, that's going to be a that's going to be a great place for you to plant those and do and work them there. You remember the first boss of Celestia mealing me with a crit for three thousand? <laughs> e yeah, that would suck, Zenga for sure. Yep, that would not be a good memory getting getting knocked out by the by the first boss like that. I do remember going to Celestia and learning just how much harder those bosses were, especially when that world face first came out. Same size as 12, yeah. With a new way you could garden 64 large plots? Okay, I need to check that out. I'm going, I'm going to dig into that. I, I'm going to figure out the new way of gardening. You know, I know that I know that there's ways you can stack you can stack them and everything, but definitely gotta try that. Ooh, yeah, I remember when Celestia first opened up. I remember when Celestia first opened up and I took my myth character there, who is like one of my maxes, but I hadn't played him for a while. It was hard. Oh yeah, it was it was hard. It was not easy. Man, those guys just knocked. I swear, hate bosses. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get rid of the Shadow Weaver. Um, yeah, back in about 2010. That sounds about right. It's been a while. Yeah, I remember going through there with my with my original Myth character, and the fights were just so much harder, and it was tough. Yeah, Celestia was two or three even times. It feels like it was. It feels like it was. I just think I'm a better player now, so it doesn't bother me as much now when I go in there. I know what to expect. I know where. Usually, usually by then, I've gotten the Waterworks quest because I'm close to level 60 because of the, because I do every side quest out there. And usually, I'm in better shape to go fight than I than I than than I usually am. So, um, I, I just think I'm a better player than I used to be. So, that that makes that makes a big difference right there. Okay, so now we're going to get rid of Chimera. We're going to get a shield on because I don't want that guy criticaling me again. They nerfed it back in 2015. You're sure? Okay. Because they were saying it was way too hard. I remember it being tough. I, re I do remember it being tough. I remember the bosses were challenging. Um, the, whole, the whole game was, was, pretty, ch was um, pretty challenging, I thought, at that time. Mm. Here, let's go ahead and just start layering some shields for protection and then we're going to go ahead and get a heal going that way we can get our health back up before we take down the boss here okay 
Well, October 2th, yeah, that's when it was added. And I remember, I remember playing it. I remember super excited. There was just all this new hype around it, brand new world. And um, you know, I think up, I think up until then, you know, the top world that you could get to was Dragonspire. And so I remember jumping into it and playing it a lot. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I definitely don't. Re it definitely doesn't seem as hard as it used to be anymore. Oh, I hate it when they do that, guy. Great. There goes my blade I just put up. Jeez. Okay. My goodness. Hate fighting storm guys sometimes, especially these level storm guys. Okay, let's just go ahead and add some healing hands, and let's get that back up. Okay, it's a new hour, guys, and I love to have new questions every hour. So, let's see here. Okay, let's see here. What's... What's a great question? Okay, so we've been talking about food a lot, right? So let's continue talk about food, okay? What food do you hate the most? What food is out there that some people just absolutely around you all the time think this is like the greatest stuff ever, and you just look at it and you wonder why it even exists? Do you have a food that you are not very fond of? Tell us about the food that you just think is, is just really not food. And I'll give you my example first, so... When I think of something that's not food, re <laughs> when I red grapes are wrath, see, I have a bunch of those. And those are supposed to give you megas? I don't know if they do or not. I mean, I don't think I ever got megas out of my red grapes of wrath. But I'll but I'm gonna check I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, so the food I don't like, oh, fish, you don't like fish? Oh man. I love me some fish. That's okay, Zenga. That's okay, Zenga. You can you're still a good guy, even though you don't like fish. Okay, let's go ahead and draw another tower shield in like that. They may give one type of mega. Oh, you don't like tofu? Really? I, 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 but I grew up vegetarian, but I like tofu in a lot of different ways. Like, um, I like tofu when it's been seared and seasoned, and then I have it with my ramen or with, um, or actually with a good pho dish. You know, the Vietnamese noodle dish. Um, tofu works really well with, with pho. And I like that. You'd rather eat grass and fish, for sure. I'll tell you what, the, the thing that I don't like, but my wife actually loves, and I know a lot of people love it too, is Brussels sprouts. I'm sorry, guys. Brussels sprouts are not food. It's some sort of inedible plant that parents started throwing at you when I was young, trying to trick me into thinking that it was some sort of food. Uh huh. Oh, you don't like the texture? Yeah, I understand that. That thing you said, pho? Oh, pho. Uh, pho. Well, it's, if you look at it phonetically, it's pho, P-H-O, um, but it's pronounced pho. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a, like a rice noodle, usually is a beef broth, but I've had it with a vegetarian broth that I really, really like. That the, the place I went to that had a vegetarian broth version, it was super, super good. And um, I've also had it with a, um, with a chicken broth. Did I say that? Chicken, vegetarian. Oh, and a seafood broth. So I've, I've had it with different broths. And it's super yummy. The, the whole trick with pho is you got to add in some things like, I know some people like to add an oyster sauce to it. I'm not an oyster sauce fan, but if uh, but some soy sauce and everything for flavoring, that's what makes pho super, super good is, is doctoring it up your own way. And I think that uh, that's, that's, that's a pretty popular way to eat it as well. Oh, thank you very much, Richard Draven Slinger. Wow, that that is a name. Awesome. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you taking some time to hit that follow. Okay, so I can make any type of broth with anything you like. Zenga, the master chef there, master broth man. Fantastic. Yeah. Me, you know, I think, you know, I, I like a good chicken broth just because that's, that's always my basic broth. But a good vegetable broth, like I really love a good minestrone soup. Um, with a with a really nice tomato vegetable broth, uh, that is so such good stuff. Okay, these guys are killing me. Um, I need to go ahead and start getting serious about this. Um, let's see here. If I can, let's go ahead and get vengeance up. I should have put a shield up. No, I'm good. I'm good. I uh, okay. You're getting even hungrier. Thank you. I will get a drink, Richard. I appreciate that. I'm gonna have some more of my sparkling water. Mmm, good stuff. You got a piece of ice there, too. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get a shield up. Very good. Zengas. Okay. 
Uh, you'd make me a veggie broth with a hint of chicken to make it taste slowly, but surely like chicken. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah, that's why I toss the shield up. Thank you, Yurak. Yeah, it's getting close, and my heels aren't popping up. I need my heels to start popping up. Um, let's get rid of her and her, and let's put a couple more shields up and give my shield, give my heels a chance to pop in. We, I really need to get get healing going. Um, okay. Well, now that I got some shields up. Do I got heal yet? No, I don't. So let's go ahead and saber tooth, saber tooth the guy. Maybe, maybe if we get a critical, we'll get a very nice strong hit on him. Man, I love the saber tooth spell. This is like my newest spell that I've gone, and I love it. It is so awesome. You'd put some chili in just to make it a bit spicy. I don't believe you can survive the ghost pepper enjoyment. Oh, I can handle ghost pepper. I like spicy. Um, it just takes some time. Oh, you haven't seen that one? I love the Sabertooth Tiger spell. That is your level, I think, 70, no, 80, 86 spell, I believe. Level 86. It is awesome. I'll tell you what. Saber, that Sabertooth is a favorite spell of mine. I love it. Okay. But not enough to kill the big guy. Okay. See, these hits are getting too much. Okay, and spicy, enjoyable. So I don't mind spicy. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all good either way. Let's see here. Where is that stuff? Okay, so let's go ahead and dump this. We really need a heal. Let's get Neris in. We can have Neris bug him while I'm trying to find a heal and I'm shielding up. Yep, this is where minions can be really good. You know, I should have popped in a Monstrology card too while I was out. I don't think the fight was going to be as challenging as it's turning out to be. Okay, so what are we going to do? Let's go ahead and build that up, and let's get another shield up. I really need to get a heal. Okay, fantastic. Well, that's 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 okay, Zenga. You know, I like spice. I, you know, I like, um, I like going to the ramen shop and having them add the spicy to it. They have a fire one at this one ramen shop, and they have this big fireball that you can get your picture on um, on the bulletin board if you can finish the entire bowl. And I've tried the fire. It's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. I could do it. I just I just wouldn't feel very good afterwards. Um, okay, let's go ahead and add some blade storm while I'm waiting for a heal to pop up. I need to start dumping cards. I think that's what I need to start doing. This is getting dangerous. Hand rolled ramen and some chicken prepared in the oven for two. <laughs> okay. Okay, Zenga. Zenga, your fun has been had. Your fun has been had. I don't think anybody's gonna watch the stream anymore. They're all gonna go make dinner. Okay, so let's see here. Fantastic. So, did I throw out that question? Oh, yeah. What is the at? What is at? So, you guys have already th thought that. Okay. Anybody else, you can hop in on stream. Chat is wide open. Um, Zenga doesn't mind at all if you guys hop in and do some talking. And we're talking about a variety of different things in chat today. I'm going to dump you just because I need to. Let's go ahead and put this on there. Oh, nah. You're fine. You're, you're all. Yeah. You're fine. Okay. Um, and... Um, yeah, so basically, if you want to talk Wizard 101, if you want to talk some Minecraft, if you want to answer any of the questions that I've had, like, for instance, what is your, what do you like to do during the summer? That was question of the first hour. Okay, um, I'm just dumping this. We're going to go ahead and see if we can get a heal going. Or, the second question of the day, what type of food, when you look at it, you think, that is not food. That is not good. That's horrible. That is not something you can eat. I would love to hear any of those responses from you guys. Chat is wide open. Come join Zenga and Yurak as we talk about all sorts of things that apparently keeps just going back to food today for some reason. You know? Oh, man, there we go again. Ay, ay, ay. If I don't get a heal, I'm going to be in trouble here. Okay. Yeah, you're hungrier. <laughs> oh, great emoji there. Fantastic. Thank you, Yurak. Okay. Ah, you don't know what to eat. Well, I guess that would depend on what you have around or if you have good takeout. You know, that could be the thing. It just makes me not even want to put blades up anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's killing me, isn't it? Ah, and still. Are you... Ah, okay. One blade storm up. Ah, 12... Oh, yeah, that's late, Zenga. Well, go eat some snacks. You can't order takeout. Oh, dear. Okay, you, you, you like the beach, Chris. Fantastic. Yeah, that's me. I, I like hitting the beach, going to the pool. That's usually the best time to get in the water is when it's nice and warm outside. Well, no. Well, give me another shield, but I mean, my goodness, if I don't start getting, if I don't get a heal here to raise myself up, I'm going to be in trouble. Neris, keep hitting the bad guy. 
That's your job. Keep hitting him hard. Okay. That's awesome, Chris. Yeah, I, I like the beach myself. Um, what beach are you close by again? I think you're close to the East Coast, as I recall, right, Chris? I know our, our closest beach is down in um, down on the Texas coast. I can help you if you want. Nah, I'm doing okay, Zenga. I'm just trying to... Just getting kind of worn out here. Okay. Ah, Virginia Beach. That's what I thought. I remembered that you were up, up over there. You're in Maryland, aren't you, Chris? Or somewhere around there. Yeah, but Virginia Beach. I've heard that's a pretty cool beach. Some of the Atlantic beaches are really, really nice. Okay. Why am I not... Am I getting everything but a heel? Yeah, Virginia. Okay, that's right. Virginia. Richard, the new pack is awesome. Which new pack are you talking about, Richard? Tell me about it. Yeah, let me uh, can give you some help. I, I'm not done yet, Zenga. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and hit him hard. Okay, there we go. See, healing hand, availing hands coming in at the last minute. Oh, my goodness, this game. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, Richard, tell me more about the new pack. Which pack are you talking about? Okay. We'll have to check it out. Ah, the Road War. You know, I saw that. I saw that on, on my Facebook this morning that they rolled out the new Warriors pack. What do you like most about it there, Richard? Oh, so it's a, so a re-roll. Okay. Thanks, Zenga. So it's a re-roll. So it's one that's been out a while back, and they just re-release it again. Yeah, actually, I think that is a pack that was mentioned as a pretty good pack for getting some... Um, let's see that. Um, getting a cool mount. Oh, really? So you, did you get the mount out of it? Because I did see the picture for the mount. It looked pretty cool. Yeah, the motorcycle mount. Yeah, that, that mount looks pretty cool, Richard. I agree. It does look pretty neat. I heard that's actually a really good pack for death PvP players. Or death PvP players. PvP players. Yeah, I think so. Nice. You didn't buy it yet? Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't bought a new pack yet. I might buy it for my PvP. -er. I think that's the only wizard I'm actually buying packs for is my is my PvP -er at the moment. Yeah. Oh, you're balanced? Me too, Rich. Well, this guy right here is balanced. My PvP character, he's my death guy, and I haven't... Thank you. I could use a critical heal about now. Now, the odds are turning against you. Very good. Not, not you guys, Richard, but these guys in here. Yeah, so I'm going to check it out later. Level 55, very nice. I'll tell you what, I really like my balance character. I'm loving it. Yeah, that was a perfect timing for a crit, wasn't it? Um, have I ever played the Town of Salem before? Is that a game, Town of Salem, Chris? Is that what you're talking about, a, a game? I think, I think that's what you're talking about, a game. Let's go ahead and saber tooth him again. See if we can't get a nice strong hit. Yep. No, I haven't. What's it like? Is it a I'm 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 suspecting it has something to do with witches, right? The town of Salem? Here here. <laughs> Eli Death Talon. I think I'm 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 doing okay, Zenga. I'm doing okay. I'm a rolling with the punches here. Ah, yes. No, I haven't checked it out. Is is it really creepy or or um I don't know. I'll have to check it out. Because if it's coming from you, Chris, it's probably a good thing to check out then. Town of Salem. I'm going to write that down here. Let me grab something to write with. i got a pen here for just such an occasion. Maybe. Yep. Nope, that pen's dried out. Okay, yeah, I'll find a pen here in a second. Okay. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and get... um. I can't blade you at the moment, but um, it'll be a moment. Haha. <laughs> Okay. Um, not, oh, 15 people trying to figure out who the murderers are. Oh, usually five to six murderers versus the rest of town. That sounds interesting. Okay, you only need to speak. Okay, Zenga. Okay. There you go, Judgment. Okay, yeah, I don't have anything. And so there are usually five to six murderers versus the rest of town. Interesting. So basically, what you're trying to do is you're trying to figure out who the murderers are, and there's about five to six of them versus the rest of town, so it's a mystery game. That sounds like that'd be a lot of fun. Ah, uh, yes, he's hitting me again with uh, the Leviathan again. I think yeah, I've hit, been hitting six or seven times with Leviathan. Yeah, that sounds interesting. I'll have to check it out. You know, I'm always looking for something fun to play. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, let's see here. We've got a trap there. Where you go? I don't need Neris. We'll throw up another shield. There we go. Awesome. Well, that's something we'll definitely have to look into. Hey guys, if you're just joining the stream now, my name's Kimmy Say. I teach science, but I also love to play games and stream. This is my um, balance streaming series. I usually do this twice a week, usually on Tuesdays and Saturdays, but I missed yesterday, so we're doing a makeup stream today. And we've been taking this wizard from zero all the way to 130. And we're talking about all sorts of things from food to games here in the chat, so you're welcome to join it. Chat is wide open for anybody who wants to hop in. And let's see here. Oh, Chris just wrote something. So if you've ever played Throne of Lies or Werewolf online, something like that. No, I haven't played either of those, but I've heard about the Werewolf one. Not Throne of Lies, though. That's that's something I haven't I have not experienced. Sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. So is it kind of like, um, are you kind of like walking around talking to people, kind of like in a role playing situation, you know, or are you, uh, or is it kind of like a, um, ooh, like a mist where you're going through different rooms and you're trying to um, solve puzzles and stuff? Hmm, that would be a good question, right? That'd be a good question. Okay, let's see here. I got Sabretooth ready. Might as well just go ahead and Sabretooth him, right? Let's go Sabretooth him. Hmm, I'm going to have to check those out. That sound like fun. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's, you know, there, have you ever noticed how many actual games there are? There are, like, so many different games out there, you know. Now, I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of the one that I'll, I'll look around and I'll look really hard and something really has to catch me for me to play it. But once I really start playing a game and get into it, kind of like Wiz, I've been playing this for... Well, gosh, 12 years now is how long I've been playing Wizard 101. I've been playing Minecraft now for got to be the better part about six, seven years now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm the type that once I get into the game, I really play it for quite a long time and have a good time playing it. There we go. That's a blade. Let's go ahead and give him a blade. <laughs> Jeez. You're killing me, Eli Death Talon. Okay. Ah, uh, it's just you getting clues as to the murderers. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Thanks, Chris, for the for the input, for sure. Oh, from the hints that people can give out. Ah, so it's kind of like this really big game of Clue, almost, in which you're gathering those hints and you're trying to put them together to figure out who it is. You're hitting next. Well, there we go. Mr. Mr. Death Talon is going to hit next. Well, good for him. That's good. Awesome. Uh, there's different roles to gain information over time. Okay, so, like, you know, you can pick up different roles as you're playing. I get it. Like an investigator or something. Or a doctor. Okay. Well, I'm saving up again. That's what it looks like, so... We'll pass for right now. And see where this takes us. Ooh, I should probably... Put a shield on, just in case. Okay. Ah, that is your true friend clothes? Sure, Richard, I do not mind adding you in for the true friend code for sure. Okay. Very nice. Let's pop them up there. Very good. With Richard Ravenslinger. Very nice. Very nice. There we go. The Death Dinosaur. Is doing his thing. Very nice. Awesome. So, yeah, that's part of what I do. So, yeah, I sit here. I do commentary on games. I do a lot of chat. I love hanging out with you guys and talking whiz or other games. Oh, you haven't seen that spell either? Yeah, that is a death spell that comes up. Um, I th I'm not sure if that's one you have to go find or if that's the one. I think that's the actual death spell you get with um, the dinosaurs. That's kind of cool. Okay, there is Popo, Vu, white paper. Much thanks. I couldn't bear to hear him soliloquize. Oh, anymore. you couldn't, could ya? Zenga, the tier 10 spell for death. Yeah, it's it's oh, a cool that's spell. You. Good boy, that one. I'll meet you back by his nest. Sounds good. Let's go back to Toltec. La -da 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 -da. Now, you notice for the library here, this is actually a rehash of the... Um, of the design over in um, Zafaria. Ah, there we go. I knew I should have came up here and looked. Got my Tolkien stone. There we go. Yep. Yeah, you want to get epic so you can deal more damage? Awesome. Yep. So this library is actually... 
I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of torn whether I'm happy that they hearkened it to the same type of thing or torn that they didn't change it up some, you know, because we're, ta- we're talking a totally different continent. But, you know, so it's like, oh, why, uh, why, they, why they stay so similar? I mean, because the village looks so nice and different. They did a really good job on on a different style in the village and not copying it. I wonder why they why they left the library that way, you know. That's about one thing that I'm like, I look at and say, oh, they kind of lazied out on that one, didn't they? Yeah, save money, for sure, for sure. Popol Vuh recounted the story of your battle with Zala Sunbli. This story will be immortalized in our records. Fantastic. Popol Vuh needs to teach you the sacred glyph you'll use to open the secret way to the Feather Palace. Good, Talk good, good. Talk to Popol Vuh about it now. Okay, okay, now, now. Popol Vuh, Popol Vuh, you tell me, you let me in. Watch closely. This pattern creates the glyph we call... The way, way of its of eats. The way of the sorcerer. Okay. There is a spot behind the Kalmaket. Yeah, they save money that way for sure. Open a path into the, the feather, feather palace. palace. Fantastic. But I am too old to teach you the proper. So I have to go to Toltec to teach me. Okay. Oh, wait a second. So what do you what do you sell? Oh, here we go. So now, so then right here, this would be like so. For instance, if so, this is guy is the hat guy. So if we look at the hat, for, uh huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is interesting. Okay, so there's the balance hat right there. Okay, and you can... Oh, no, wait a second. Where'd the balance hat go? I was looking at the wrong one. Here we go. There we go. There's the balance hat. That oh, that looks pretty cool. Actually, there you go. Yeah, a little bit more critical rating. A um, little bit more attack. That's not a bad hat at all. That's pretty good right there. That might be worth buying. Face of the Lords of Night. Um, level 86. Yeah. Hmm. And you and the spell. You actually get a spell with that. Hmm. 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 Do I not have enough gold? What's 7805? Hmm. Very cool. They're not that good, really? Okay, Zanga. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, now these are dual schools. So, for instance, if I was looking at these, I would want to get the one because I'm about I'm about to go all death with my guy. So let's see here. Um, balance and death is what I'm looking for. Let's check the stats for balance and death because since I'm getting ready to go ahead and try to rock a dual dual guy. There we go. Let's try it over here. There we go. There's balance and death. So that's definitely a step up there. Um, let's see here. The critical rating or the defense rating. That's pretty good for that. And there you go. You get the plus 13 for damage for death. Plus 28 for defense. Plus you get the... Yeah, that's not terrible. That's, that's pretty cool. I mean, considering now that you'll... You'll get all those bonuses on the death stuff as well. So I might have to go and buy those. I'm, I might have to see. We're going to have to check. Okay, Toltec. Now, I got distracted. distracted. Sorry about that. Of of Doesn't seem worth it in your opinion. But I don't Oh, no. You're, you're, it's, it's, it depends on what you're looking to get out of it and everything. And, um, I, I mean, I'll definitely take a closer look at them. It's just that at some point I'm going to have to start transitioning... Um, critical to now. my critical the strategy my back to damage cool. strategy. So um, I'm just checking everything that's out there to see what might be the best option for me. And we'll need a conch shell to mix it. Okay. There's one in the whirlpool at the base of the Eternal Falls. It is guarded by the monstrous Kisin Seven Death. Very good. Okay, Zenga, you get some rest. Thank you so much. I'm glad you got your stacks, your food. You're awesome. Okay, yeah, so you're in a damage strat yeah, damage strategy now. Damage is a really great strategy to go with it. Okay, so I have to collect these beetles. Okay, damage is a really good strategy, um, especially in lower, especially where you're at, Iraq, with most of your guys. That's the way to go. Um, when you get to level 70, especially with the um, Atlantean gear, um, okay, where are these beetles? Okay, especially with especially with Atlantean gear, you actually have an option to start looking at a critical strategy as as a way to go. And um, I and so I've been using a critical strategy since about level 70, since I got two thirds of the Atlantean gear. 
and it's been working really, really well out with this wizard, so much so that I haven't really had any major hang-ups here in Azteca, whereas I can remember there were several times me and my storm wizard um, got ourselves beat up quite a bit here in Azteca. Okay. Nope, not up there. Ooh, but they do have this. I like grabbing agave leaves when I see them. They're kind of important. Okay. Especially for the questing craft. That, I mean, the craft... The que the craft... Sorry. The crafting quest that I haven't finished yet. Okay. Where are these beetles? Collect cockneal beetle in Cloudburst Forest. Okay. Try clicking M to know... Oh, yeah. Where are the beetles? Show me where the beetles are. Ah, why did I click that? Okay, fantastic. That's awesome. That's awesome. I am like, you know, knocking it out today, guys. So I hope you're having a whole fine watching me derp it out today. Yep, derping it there, derping it there. Okay, where's this taking me? This takes me to Cloudburst Forest. Well, I get to see Azteca now. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh Cockneal Oh, there's a there's there was there's one. Oh, I had to come down here to get it. That's why I was having a hard time finding it. It wasn't up there. Jeez. That was actually a good mistake. That was a very good mistake to make. Nice, 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 nice. It worked out. Yep. I was about to, like, get all grumpy at myself. It's like, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? My goodness. Ooh, agave leaves. Those become pretty important. There's another cockaneal beetle. Very good. Twisting is in the chat. I haven't seen you for a week or so, Twisting. How, is your, how have you been? I've been pretty awesome. Very nice to see you there, sir. Very nice. Me, I'm having a great time doing some Azteca questing. Looking for these cock, cock, and, cock and needle beetles. There we go. We got them all. So now we got to go to Season 7 Death in the Cloudburst Forest. Okay, Season 7 Death. Where is Season 7 Death? Oh. Is that 7-7 seven, seven death? Am I missing it? Nope, that's that must be them. Okay, we're in a dungeon. Let's go down to the dungeon. Looks like we're in pretty good shape. Okay, let's go find Sizz and 7 death. Well, fantastic. Twisting I, it's always happy to see you hop in the chat. Well, I'm seeing all the greats. Zanga, Twisting, Chris was in there somewhere. He might still be there. He kind of, he kind of, kind of lurks when he does things. Okay, so let's go down this way. Been good. Okay, working all the time. Yeah, well, thank you for hopping in. Yeah, I understand the whole working stuff. I've been pretty busy. Summer school started for me, so I've been doing summer school in the mornings this week. You know what? Should we go ahead and get a field guard? No, those guys aren't strong enough. I need to go ahead and do some more questing. Okay, um, let's see here. I need ice shields. Let's throw some ice shields up. I understand, but I think I got the wrong deck one anyways. Nope, I'm right. Okay, yep, we should be good to go. Okay, well, that's awesome. Yeah, I understand the whole busy. Working, working, working. But you know what? It's nice to be able to work. It's nice to be able to take care of that. Okay, so, ooh, so, ooh I can't put the potent trap on that. You know what? I need to go ahead and redo my decks now that I hit level 90 like I said I was going to do. I really want to do that. It's going to be an awesome thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Um, Let's go ahead and put a shield up because I know they're going to start hitting me with big with big things, as ice monsters tend to do. Hopefully they won't do. Well, never mind. They just did it. So shields will be a flight of fancy now. There you go. You got to see what to eat. Yeah, we got y'all hungry, right, Yurak? I'm sorry about that. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Let's see here. Tonight, I guess, after I'm done with stream, I have to go pick up one of my sons. He's at a friend's house. And then I have to go pick my daughter up from work. Got to get them both home. And we're having wraps tonight, so that sounds really good. So I think our evening is going to be really great. Um, I need to do a few things. I need to get online. I need to start questing. Um, let's see here. Yep, I need to start questing because I got to... What do I got to do? Well, I got to redo my decks. I got to get my death spells. Because I, because I, because I can use those now. Um, I got to do some offline Tartarus questing. See if I can't get some gear. Yeah. See, the shield's great, but it's only working against that. My goodness. 
annoying. I need to get rid of this guy over here. Got to get rid of the serpent. Okay. Or the eel, the tempest eel. <laughs> Boy, this would be really great if I actually got what I'm looking for. Um, let's see here. Okay. Might just have to um, go all... Oh, you're right. Go say it. So if I get to see Midnight Stream online, he could show you the other way of gardening. He could explain how, but you could understand better. Yeah, no, I understand. I'm going to, I'm going to do some searches on YouTube, see if I can look it up as well, or maybe catch Midnight Stream, because I'm sure he would, wouldn't mind explaining it to you. But definitely want to get more yield out of my gardening, for sure. That is that is a good thing. I'll buy, I'll buy some more seeds if I can get some more yields out of it, you know. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, Red Grapes of Wrath. I've actually farmed Red Grapes of Wrath quite a bit, but I never had much luck getting any big mega snacks out of them, unfortunately. Okay, good. Let's use Punishment. Yeah, but I appreciate that, Yurik. I'll dig into it and find out all about it. I love learning new things. Well, I'm very happy I had that shield on. That could have been terrible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I remember, and you know, I used to have a whole bunch of those red grapes wrath, and I had a whole bunch of purple grapes wrath, and now they're all just regular green grapes. So it's like, ugh. yeah. You trying to triple stack? I think that yeah, I, I'm going to. That's what I'm going to take a look into. Is doing the triple stacks. I believe that's what it is, but I haven't I haven't had a chance to explore yet. Okay, let's see if that will take them out. Yeah, they drop other non. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, yeah, for sure, they do drop other non mega snacks. Basically, the way I look at snacks is if I'm training, I want to train with Mega Snacks because I can get so much more out of the experience very, very quickly, get my guys leveled up, and have a lot of fun. Um, I don't mind getting the other snacks because I use those for my pet happiness. So I'll feed the I'll feed my pet the other snacks to raise their pet happiness, and so that's the approach I usually take for that. Yeah, triple stack easy. That's cool. I'll check that out. Twisting. Yeah, I got plenty of couch potatoes. The downside with couch potatoes is you have to use the really big spells for watering and stuff like that. It just takes up a lot of room. So unless you're running a place where you have a, like, uh, unless you have a house with a nice big field for that, it can be um, a little challenging. Jeez, they let me down. They did not kill it. Okay, that's fine. Back to throwing up some shields. Let's do that. Oh. Sorry, itchy nose, itchy nose. With all the pollen in the air, where we're living right now, it's a challenge sometimes with allergies. Okay, very good, awesome. So, um, just as a reminder, everybody who's out there in chat, everybody's welcome to hop in. We have two questions that we've been running for the first two hours. The first question was, what do you like to do during summer? Because it is summer, I'd love to know what you guys like to do during summer. I like to go swimming, I like to go down to the beach when I get a chance. Those are all things I really enjoy doing during the summer. I'd like to hear more from you guys. Like, what do you guys like to do during the summer? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of him, draw this guy, and protect myself. Okay? The other question is, and we've been talking a lot about food during during chat today and stuff, I would love to know a food that you absolutely abhor. What is a food that you don't think should be food? You know, and I'll tell you what, the food I don't think should be food is called Brussels sprouts. They're not food. They're not food. They masquerade as tiny cabbages, and they are not food. They are terrible. Uh, you don't know if you'll still be on when you come back. Lurk, eat mode, deactivate. Okay, Yurak, if I'm still here, hop on in. If not, have a good afternoon and evening. Thank you so much for hanging out and chatting, me, chatting with me today. It's been absolutely fabulous. Okay, Judgment should finish him off. Let's give it a shot. Because I really need to get rid of that one so I can go ahead and finish him out. Fantastic, I appreciate it. Hey guys, so if you just joined the stream, just a little bit about me. I'm a science teacher. I've been playing, I, I love to play games. I've been playing games for a long time. Probably longer than some of you guys have been alive, but that's okay, you know. Like my earliest good, really fun memories of playing games at my house was when we sat down, sat around and I'd play, play um, the Super Nintendo or the Atari 5200 um, with him. And that was good times. I could get the sprouts out. Yeah, that stuff's not food. It's just not food, Hannah's. Thank you. Uh, yes, twisting. I'm with you. That stuff is that terrible. It's just, it's 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 meant to torture children. That's 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 the only, the only thing that makes sense to me why that stuff even exists. Good thing I had those shields up. Thank goodness. Hi, Hams. So ha is that Hamzix? Yeah, Hamzix. 
Thank you so much for hopping into the chat. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I've been having a really good one myself. Let's see here. Ooh, what's that about? Yeah, that's my shields. Okay, very, very good. Very nice. So, yeah, you're welcome to chat if you have any questions. And so, do you play some Wizard Hammers? What's your favorite wizard school that you like to play with when you do play? I'd be so interested in finding out. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get another shield up there. Because they're going to, they, that guy's going to hit me, then the other guy might hit me, and then you know, I just might get hit. Very good. Yes. Ooh, you're a life or ice. Yeah, those are, those are two great schools. Definitely awesome. You got your tank, which is the ice, and you've got your support master, which is life, which is very, very cool. Yurak, who was here in chat just earlier, he, he was telling us about how much he's always enjoyed playing his, his, um, his life character. And life's 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 a fun school to play. Me, I've been really enjoying balance. This is probably one of the one of the wizards I've had so much fun with. But it's also one of the wizards I've that I've the, one of the wizards recently that I've started from scratch. And I've been you know like we started this stream series back in March, and we're just taking him from zero all the way to one thirty, and we're just um, taking taking it pit by pit. We're playing only uh, main quest during stream. I do side quests offline. You know, and that's kind of what this whole series has been about. That's awesome, though. Life or Ice. You know, I'll tell you what. Balance was one of the schools I was never going to play. When I when I first started playing for years, you know, I just kept putting off Balance. I don't want to play Balance Guy. I don't. Uh, balance isn't it. I don't want to play Balance Guy. And you know what? I feel so bad now because I am loving Balance. You know, I mean, this has just been a fantastic series of getting to play a character that I didn't think I would I would enjoy as much as I do. It's been really, really good. That's a good thing I put those shields up. Jeez. Okay. Fantastic. Now, let's see here. There we are. There we are. Okay. Now, um, oh, your ice is max and your life is 72. Uh, max life. So do you like the, um, so do you like that, um, what is that, yin and yang healing spell or the doves or the, um, or the, what do you call those, the goose spell? I've, I, a lot of people are torn about that from what I heard. Why did I do that? Well, it's okay. Let's go ahead and draw another shield and keep myself alive until I can get enough hit to knock him out. Sorry, itchy nose syndrome, itchy nose syndrome. Very good, yeah. Well, just to give you guys a little background, what is the, fr oh, here's a great question. This is going to be our third hour question, but such a good question. I want to go ahead and get it out there now, okay? My third hour question, oh, being life is awesome. I agree. It is awesome. Well, third question, okay? I forgot my third question. I just drew a blank. Okay, I'm going to hold off on my third question. I can't believe I did that. I just blanked out on my third on my third hour question. Well, that's okay. Since I have 14 minutes left, I'm sure I can get it back before my time is up. Let me just adjust my seating a little bit. Yeah, get that life to max. You won't regret it for sure. Yeah. So your ice is max and your life is 72. Yeah, my daughter, she maxed her ice just a few weeks ago. And she is absolutely loving it, for sure. Ah, that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing there, twisting. Gosh, it was a really, really good question. I'm going to get it back, though. I'm going to get it back. Yeah, ice is, ice is really good. Um, the second wizard I ever made was my ice wizard. He's now sitting in Avalon. I just haven't had a chance to continually leveling him up for a while. Mm, I don't want to give up any of my healing spells if I don't have to. Oh, your ice is damage crazy? That's awesome. Yeah. At max level, I bet you he I bet you he really brings it in hard. You know, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, he's going to do a big... Do I have a shield still on? I hope so. Very good. You think your ice damage is 160? That is crazy. I don't have anything up that high. That's pretty cool. But then again, you know, my highest level character is my Storm Wizard sitting up at level 98. And then this guy is my next highest one. And I'm having a lot of fun messing with him. So you're going for max damage crit build? 
Yeah, so hammocks, is that what you're doing? Are you going for a max damage or crit build? Me, I don't, I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to take this guy out right now. Because I, I should have had another spell to do that with, but that's not working. Ah, not really, okay. You're trying to get resist? Very cool. That actually lines up with a lot of how ice characters usually are, usually high resist. But your pet is critical in damage, that's cool. Okay. Alrighty, I need to start dumping things because this is not working out for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some, let's go ahead and put a healing spell on because they are going to hit me and I'm getting nothing on my deck. I gotta start dumping cards. Okay, sorry, I was just noticing my dire situation, especially if they keep on um, stunning me. That's great. Stun me again. Stun me again. Yeah, so Hema's Dragoon gear? Hmm, you want to craft the Dragoon robe or for extra resist? Very nice. Oh, I'm done. Okay, we're kicking that. Um, we're going to go ahead and get a heal going on me. Because they're going to hit me hard with another big ice spell. I'm pretty sure they will. Very good. Okay, so just to review the first two questions of the day that we use, we I usually put out a question per hour. I'd love to hear you guys in chat. What do you what do you like to do during the summer? Tell me. I'd love to hear what you guys like to do the summer. Second question is, of course, you know, um, what type of food do you think is not really food? I think Hamas came in Hamas's came in when I was talking about that one. You know, talking about the evil of Brussels sprouts. Okay, and then we'll have a third question here in 10 minutes for the third hour. Thank you, Hamzes. I'm try trying to get that name right. Hamzes, thank you so much for the follow. That is awesome. And since he brought that up, let me just also thank Richard Ravenslinger for the follow. Thank you so much, Grizzly Bear, for the follow today. Thank you um, as well, Iridian Willow, Mr. Mr. Nick, um, Asian Ninja Bear, Reverend Hayes for the follows today. I thank you so much. I also want to say a quick shout to Reverend Hayes for the subscription today. That's awesome. Hamzi, Hamzi. Okay, I got it now. Thank you so much, Hamzi. I will get that now. Ah, so twisting. Yeah, you know that. Okay. Ah, Ice, you haven't really focused on too much. That's cool. Okay. Okay, so we got that one guy out of the way. Now let's go ahead and let's dump some stuff. Yeah, we need to get some shields up. Okay, let's get a shield up, and we're going to finish off Sizen 7, whatever his face is over there. Very, very good. Okay, very nice, very nice. Awesome. So we're talking some whiz in the chat there. You guys are welcome to, anybody's welcome to hop in on the chat. Now, here we go. Okay, here's the question. Here's third hour question. I'm going to give you a T 10 minutes early because I finally remembered what it was. Third hour question. What is the first video game you played. Do you remember, by chance, what the first video game is that you ever played? This is a good question right here. You, some of you might have to think really hard on that one. What is the first video game you ever played? Really, Hamzy, Wizard 101. Very cool, very cool. I, the very first video game I played that's gonna blow you guys away, it's called Pong. You might have to go Wikipedia it. Pong, P-O-N-G, you know? Basically, it came in a little console, probably about this big. You plugged in this in your TV and you basically was two paddles. Two paddles on each side, kind of like, it's kind of like tennis. It was digital tennis is what it was. And they called it Pong after like, a, I guess a ping pong table. And um, it was a lot of fun. It, it, was, it was very, very cool. My parents played it more than we did. I was just a little, little kid at the time. And so they only let us play it every once in a while. They played it more often than we did, you know. Um, but that is the first video game I can remember playing, and it was pr it was pretty cool. Pong, I'm Z. You worried about critical? Okay, yeah. We're they're still talking. They're still talking about wizards there. That's awesome. Very cool. Okay, now we need to get something that's going to get rid of those um, shields because he has way too many shields on for me to be happy with him. Let's see here. But I don't think I have. Oh, you know, I need a Neris. That's what I need. I need a Neris. Let's go ahead and kick Vengeance. Let's draw, and let's see if we can't get our favorite minion, Neris, in hand. And Neris will take care of those um, 
will take care of those tower shields for us. See, there's a, always a strategy in there if you think enough about it. TBH, I need to focus on resist. Very good. Okay. Alti Snipes, Command and Conquer. That's an awesome game. Not Alti Snipes. That's a... Hmm. Atel Snipes. We'll call you Snipes. Snipes says Command and Conquer. That game. I am familiar with that game. That is an awesome game. What a great first game to get started on. That is... That's pretty cool. Thank you so much for hopping in, for hopping in on the chat. Very, very good. Snipes. Nice, nice. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Yeah, Command and Conquer. So are you talking about the original one? Ah, okay, yeah. Meanwhile, Twisting is setting up a meet there in the comments. Very cool. That's awesome. Command and Conquer. I remember playing that. That's a fun game. You can do so many cool things in that. That's a classic. Um, now, yeah, I think Warcraft came out before Command and Conquer, maybe. I'm trying to remember. I, I know they're both about the same generation of game. You know, um, I remember playing the original Warcraft first before I ever knew there was a Command and Conquer game. But it was a lot of fun. Yeah, the 2D one. Wow. Very, very cool. Very, very cool, Snipes. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of fun. They're actually, they're actually, they're re like reissuing a lot of the old ones now so that they'll work on newer systems again, which is pretty cool. Those, those are, those are a lot of fun. Those are some, those are some of the classic turn-based um, strategy games out there before Warcraft really started getting going, and then all the, all the other ones that started coming in after it. My goodness, all I want is Neris. All I want is Neris, so I can get rid of these shields. Neris, where are you at? Ah, yes. Very, very good. Okay, guys, so if you're just tuning in, thank you so much for stopping in. My name is Kimmy Say, and I play a variety of games. I'm a science teacher. I teach eighth grade science, and I have a great time doing that, and I appreciate everybody stopping in. We do have a few questions. We have three questions, because I do a question for each hour. We did start the um, third hour question a little bit earlier, because it's such a great question, you know. Um, but you guys are welcome to hop in. We do have open chat for anybody who wants to be involved. Um, so the current question for third hour is, what was the first video game you remember playing? And my, my the first video game I remember playing was a game called Pong. P-O-N-G. Wikipedia. Atari Pong, I believe. Yeah, I believe it was put out by Atari. And then um, all, uh, Snipes was telling us the first one that he, he, he or she remembered playing was Command & Conquer which is fantastic. Who doesn't remember playing Command & Conquer at some point? That's just a fantastic game. Okay, let's go ahead and build up all of our blades. Let's, well, he still has a shield. Hmm. Very, very cool. And chat is wide open for anybody else who wants to hop in. You can talk about the question of the hour or the question of the hour before. It's wide open for that. Let's just go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and, uh, Put the balance blade on. My goodness, I really wish... Nice. I really wish I had something else there. Okay. So, or if you want to talk some Wizard 101, like Snipes, what's your uh, main wizard? What's your favorite school you like to play with? I would love to hear about that and why, for sure. Also, if you want to talk about something else, um, I do stream four times a week if you're not familiar with my streaming schedule. Usually I do um, Wizard 101 on Tuesdays and Saturdays, but I had a migraine yesterday, so I pushed stream day over to today, Wednesday. So I'm very happy to have a chance this week to get together with you guys midweek. And I also do um, Minecraft streams on Fridays and Sundays with my, uh, on, my, on my Let's Play server, which, is, which I have a ton of fun doing. Okay. Just so I make sure I have my shields up. Let's put another shield up there. Very good. And, of course, the cards I want out of this deck are still not giving them to me. Ah, tie between your death, life, or storm. You enjoy them all quite a bit. And they're all around level 75. That's That sounds kind of like me. You know, like right now I have, um, I have my myth, my fire, my ice. Yeah, myth, fire, ice. And, oh, there's one more. Oh, yeah, I'm in a Myth, Fire, and Ice, and they're all sitting around level 75, and I love them all. They're, they're tons of fun. They all have different types of gameplays. i just been been so busy playing um, playing with these these other these other wizards, especially my balance one, because I've been taking my balance all the way. I'm trying to max my balance out first because we started him in March, and we're just doing a little bit every stream. I play all main quests with my balance wizard one stream with, with you guys. And it's just take, been taking a while to get him up there, but I'm excited. We just made it to level 90 today. 
So that's going to that's gonna be super cool to get there. And, um, yeah, I can't wait. Going to, going to quest some Tartars maybe later tonight or maybe tomorrow. It just kind of depends on how my days go. I do need to, um, I do need to finish my video up for my for my death character PvP I, that I have on my YouTube channel. So, yeah, guys, if you um, aren't familiar with it, I do have a YouTube channel in which I um, do different video series, like one of them is my death PvP wizard, as well as my Minecraft Let's Play, which is going on its third season right now. We started the third season a few weeks ago, and we're having a whole lot of fun with this brand new world playing in the new 1.16 snapshot updates and everything. Okay, fantastic. So Neris is now in the house, which is exactly what I was wanting. So I'm going to save up some more pips, and we're going to hit this guy hard as soon as Neris gets rid of the tower shield that he has there. Fantastic. This is awesome. Everything's starting to go my way. Woo, you got stood up. Aw, oh, I'm sorry there, twisting. Maybe Hamza, Hamzy had something to do there. Okay, very, very good. Ah, oh, if you need a hand running Hades, let me know. I'll be around for a while. That would be awesome because Hades sucks. <laughs> Hades is not a is not an easy dungeon. It's a it's a pretty tough dungeon, and I know that at my level at level ninety, I got you got to you got to go in there with a the crew to be able to get through Hades. So yeah, I might just give you a holler there, twisting. I'm a, as soon as I get off stream, if I if I have time to do it right away, I might not do it till a little bit later though. So, but um, I, I got you in there. So if I see you on my friends list later when I go hit Hades up, I will hit you up for sure. Okay, so it looks like we are ready to do some big hits. Um, ooh, should I do my faint yet? No, we're going to wait. We're going to wait and do the faint next round. Or as long as um, Neris is not hitting, we're going to do it next round. Very cool. Awesome. Well, that's fantastic. Very, very good. Yeah, so I can't, yeah, I can't wait to do some Tartars. I've been kind of waiting for that. Too bad. You see, this is one of the reasons why I need to redo my deck is because I'm going to have... Regular feints now. I'm going to be able to. I'm going to be able to potent trap them here after I go ahead and rearrange my decks and stuff. Okay, so she's doing the donate power. That's awesome. Very very good. Okay, let's go ahead and take this guy out. Good thing I have those shields on. Boy, they that guy likes to do the crazy bolts, and those crazy bolts are not or wild bolts, or wild bolts or whatever you call them. They are not festive to be hit by. You never know if they're going to give you a big strike on you or not. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah, the tough part about these fights in um, here in Azteca is it's not that they're... Oh, no. I messed up. I thought he took it. My fault. Okay, never mind. We're good. The worst part about these fights here in Azteca... Oh, and you're going to stun me. Oh, my goodness. What you're going to do, what you're going to do, is that they take a while, especially if you're soloing them. Like, if you're in here with a group, you can usually get through them a little bit quicker. But if you're soloing them, it does take a while. I love how the ice guy is just, like, hitting me left and right with, um... Oh, no. We're doing her. Hitting me left and right with storm spells. Yep, the ice guy is hitting me left and right with storm spells. I just love that. Love Azteca. That's the best part of Azteca. Okay, let's see if that'll do it. Okay, Ender. Ender Paul the Goat. Ender Pal the Goat. Fantastic. How, how, are you, how are you doing today? Thanks for hopping in on chat. What's up? Doing anything fun? Anything exciting? Me, I'm just having a great old time playing some Wiz and talking to you guys. My day's been pretty good. How has your been? Okay, come on, Neris, bring it in. Okay, now we got to save up for another big old hit. That's okay. We can do that. Let's go ahead and throw the blade storm up. Well, what type of what's your favorite wizard you play with, Ender Pal the Goat? I would love to know it. Tell me a little bit more about yourself. What type of wizard is your favorite school? What type of school do you have? Also, if you remember, what is the very first video game you ever played? That's the question of the hour right now. For the five of, for my, well, it's for me. It's five o'clock in the evening. For my five o'clock hour, what is, what is the favorite? What is your favorite? What or what is the first video game you ever played? Okay, well, geez, looks like I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to do a reshuffle here. Hmm. Well, at least we got rid of, yeah, 
at least we got rid of the tower shields. Is he actually finally hitting me with an ice spell? Well, that's that's kind of good. I'm glad he's changing it up some. You know, hitting me over and over with um with with storm spells. It was getting a little old there. Okay, what do we got here? To what Neris is one of the oddest looking minions I think that's out there. Yeah, pretty odd looking. Very skin and bones type of look to her, for sure. Awesome. There you go, Sizen. Take that. But she's doing her job. She's hitting them. Hitting them over and over and over again. Okay, let's see here. Should I go ahead and... Yes, let's go ahead and do some healing while we have a little break in the hits that are coming after us. Very good. Now, um, my, so talking about the very earliest games. So Pong would be the very earliest game I remember playing. Um, the second game system we got in my house was called an Atari 5200. You heard right, Atari 5200, not 2600. Like if you were, if you were my age and you um, were thinking about game systems from Atari, the, the one you probably heard about most and was probably the most popular game system ever until the Nintendo was called the Atari 2600. Now my parents for some reason didn't want to buy an Atari 2600. Uh, my dad decided to go ahead and buy the Atari 5200 which was a much better system, had much better controllers, had much nicer looking games, better program games. My dad splurged, he bought the better system. And unfortunately the game controllers broke my, because my brother um, didn't take care of them. He, he used, when he'd lose a game he'd throw the game controller which eventually broke both of them. And then we couldn't play the games anymore, and my dad, well, he didn't, he didn't want to go buy more game controllers for us. That was back in the day when it was pretty expensive. All that stuff was really fairly expensive. So um, we had a 5200. And then a few years later, after me and my brother grew up and grew up a little bit more, that means I was actually, you know, in um, freshman in high school. My brother was in junior high, and we learned fairly well that he was he, he wasn't going to throw game controllers anymore. We got our first Nintendo, and from there, bam, that opened up modern games as we know them today. The first Nintendo was really the first stepping stone into those modern style games that we can see that have. Things like role-playing aspects to them and all, and that's that was that was that's basically where it is now. In between that, got to play, especially when computers started getting to the point where you could play games. Um, like in high school, I I had a couple friends. They would go home before um, after school or during lunch to go play um, to go play uh, these games on the computer all the time, and they had tons of fun doing it. Um, I can't even remember that game. It was something like Galaxies or something like that. It's been a long time in which they would go from one galaxy to the next, and they're all just different colored dots and really pixelated starships where they would go. It's nothing like anything we play today. But yeah, but that that was that was a lot of how we did things was we, we played a lot of those games at the time. And they, we had tons of fun doing that um, in high school. And I think, you know, probably the most common, or should I say the first real modern computer game that I really started getting into and enjoying was um, Warcraft, the original Warcraft, which was a lot like Command and Conquer that Snipes was telling us about earlier. And that's probably my most modern game right there is, is Warcraft itself. And that was a lot of fun. That was like the first, first real modern game I remember playing. Very good. Chat is wide open, so we can talk about anything that's on your mind. So if you guys want to talk about Wizard 101, or if you want to talk a little bit about Minecraft, because I do run a Minecraft server, I've been playing that for quite a long. That's fantastic. If you want to answer any of the three questions of the hour, first hour's question of the hour was, what do you like to do during summer? You are so welcome. If you want to ask answer question number two and hop into chat, the second question of the hour was, what food do you think shouldn't be food? It's terrible. Every time you see it, you're like, oh my goodness, that's terrible. That can't be food. That's horrible. Somebody will die eating that, you know? Or you can also um, answer the third hour question, which is what is the first video game you ever played? You know, those are our three questions of the day right now, and they are wide open in hour number three. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. Thank you so much for joining me, and let's keep it going. Let's take, let's take, some, let's take some of these monsters down. Chat is wide open. Or if you want to talk some um, Wizard 101, I would love to hear more about, you know, what some of your favorite games are or what your favorite school of wizard is. Do you have a favorite world you like? 
a lot, you know, or we can talk about anything. We can talk about school, too. So chat is wide open, guys. Would love to hear from you while we are hanging out. Yeah, I'm going to pass. And I think I should just do the shuffle at this point. Yep, I think I'm going to have to just do the shuffle. Uh-oh, you're going to get rid of Neris. Oh, no. Bye-bye, minion. Yeah, I'm out of spells. And let's see here. I think it will be better to go ahead and hit reshuffle. That way I can come back. Not come back, but that way I can go ahead and get my blades back, load some blades up, and finish this guy off. Because I think I'm ready to finish this guy off. This fight's been taking quite a long time. There we go. Let's see what comes up on deck first now. Uh, don't need him. Uh, still have those guys. That's that's good. I'll take that. Um, we're going to dump that. And I guess we're going to wait for a few more pips. There we go. Okay. So, what else has been going on? Well, hopefully the weather's been going really, really well with you where you are living. Down here in Texas, where I live, we, are, we just had a nice little cool breeze come in today. So, it was really nice and cool this morning. The temperatures are way down, even though I have a fan blowing on me. That's one of the ways I stay cool here in Texas is keep the air flowing around me. Um, but looks like we're getting ready to hit four or five days of 95, 96 degree weather. So it's going to be, it's going to be hot the next several days. So hopefully everybody, you know, hopefully maybe you're getting a little bit cooler than we are because it seems like in Texas, we are absorbing all the heat for the rest of the world right now, but that's okay. That's the way it is sometimes. There we go. That's what I like to see. Finally got myself another blade. You know what? I just need to, yep. I'm just waiting for the pips. I'm just waiting for the pips. Very good. Okay. Now, um, what else has been happening? Anything else that's been pretty exciting? There we go. See, this is what I need here. We're going to go ahead and add our feint in. Mm, now we're ready to do a big hit. I bet you we would have been finished this if I hadn't hit him while he had the sh while he had the um, tower shield on. That was my mistake earlier. Is I accidentally hit him hit him while he had the tower shield on. And that kind of set me up for a much longer fight than I was expecting. Nice. Okay. So, let's talk about... Let's see here. Let's talk a little bit about food, okay? Since we, we've had a lot of food discussion going on, so might as well stick with the topic of food today. I know some of you guys are going out to get dinner and everything, and some of you guys are getting ready to relax for the evening, depending on where you are. But let's talk a little bit about food. So, you know... Um, me, myself, I am pretty much what they would call a pescatarian. I eat fish, I eat chicken, but I don't eat any red meat or pork. Um, really, if you take the fish and chicken out, I'm pretty much a vegetarian. I was actually raised like a vegetarian um, for most of my life, believe it or not. Ooh, I got plenty of shields, so let's pass. You know, So, um, you know, I, I like all sorts of different vegetable dishes and stuff. Especially if it's especially if it's done well and thoughtful, you know, it's not just like you know, let's saute some mushrooms and call it vegetarian. Well, I mean, it, it, it might be as long as you didn't use, you know, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a veg that it's a vegetarian entree because there's so many different ways you can cook food now and vegetarian. Like one of the things, like we're like there's a Japanese restaurant we like to go to, and they have these vegetarian gyoza which are so good, they're wrapped, they actually use a spinach, um, a spinach dough to wrap their gyoza, and you have um, soybeans and a whole bunch of other really great things in there, and they are just absolutely to die for. Fantastic. You know, so that's something that I really, really enjoy. Um, there we go, that's a question for you. What cuisine do you think just is like the best cuisine out there? You know, there are so many different types of cuisine. What do you really, really enjoy? I'd love to know what you guys enjoy. Me, myself, I'm kind of split, you know, um, although I eat plenty of American, you know, which I'm not sure, I'm, I guess it's, you can kind of call it a cuisine, but I, I get really torn between Japanese cuisine and Mexican cuisine because I love my Mexican food, but I really love my Japanese food too. Um, I, you know, things like, you know, miso soup, 
tempura, sushi, um, all quintessential Japanese, all absolutely fantastic. Stuff I, I just absolutely could die for when I get a chance to go eat it. But then again, you know, I love my Mexican food. I love fajitas. I love tacos. I love enchiladas. I make some fantastic tamales. Are you kidding me? Did you just throw up a tower shield? Sorry. Monster is getting in your way, right? Of enjoying of enjoying your game. My goodness, don't you, can I just end this fight? Why do you have to drag it out? Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah. So, I mean, that's it's a, that's a tough choice for me to come up with a cuisine that I like more than the other. Oh my goodness, now instead of being done with them, I have to like do it all over again. Okay, don't need Neris, don't need any of this mess, don't need any of this extra stuff. Okay, let's save up the pips again. Okay, very, very good. So that, those are some things about me, so appreciate you guys hanging out and talking to me. Hopefully everybody is enjoying their afternoon. Wow, 5 o'clock, everybody must be going either to work, to bed, or to eat dinner. Because, boy, the viewers just dropped. You know, but that's okay. We've been having a really awesome day. Lots of great viewers throughout most of the most of the stream. So thanks, everybody, who stopped in. Um, let me go ahead and do a shoo. Let me go ahead and put that up there. So let me go ahead and do a shout-out to Hamzy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Richard. Thank you as well, Grizzly Bear, Reverend Hayes, Iridian, Mr. Winter, Nick, Asian, Ninja Bear, and... Um, Let's see here. Yes, for the for the new follows today. Oh, Twisting's still there. Love the tower shield at the right moment. I mean, it's like sometimes this game, you, you love to hate the game. Uh, I can't believe he threw that up like that. It was like, are you kidding me? I'm so ready to finish this fight. Well, at least I'm so happy to see Twisting is still there in, in the viewership. Fantastic. So, so, you, so you said work was keeping you pretty busy, Twisting. I understand that. I understand that. Yeah, it's all good. So, what do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? Are you know kind of curious now? You know what you what you've been so busy doing? Me myself, I've just been teaching the kids, teaching the younglings. Okay, yep. Let's go ahead and throw up punishment. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Okay. Well, boy, sometimes the spells just take forever to get up. That's, you know, like uh, any day now. Okay, you ready? I, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm waiting for you. Okay, there we go. He's going to hit me with another, another, um, another lightning spell. That's funny. Good, I still have, I still have some, ooh, I must not have been paying attention. He's probably been hitting me. Okay. Let's demolish this guy. Sabretooth, finish him off for us, sir. Thank goodness he's using storm spells. Networking and security engineer. Wow. Finance is not a fun area to do that in. <laughs> so I guess you're doing that in finance, apparently. Okay, that's cool. Network and security engineer. So you're basically just keeping the you're keeping the computer systems running and you're making sure the network's going and security is, is in good shape. That's awesome. Yeah, it's probably not a super lot of fun, but you know, that's definitely has its um definitely has its what do you call that? It's job security, I bet. Very cool. That cer certainly is, has a pretty high impact compared to me teaching, you know. Definitely a little bit different. There we go. I didn't even remember the way out of here. It was it was taking me so long to get around to, to do that fight. Okay, now we get to go all the way up and talk to Total Tech. Total Tech. Let's go talk to Total Tech. Fantastic. Finally got out of that dungeon. Oh my goodness. Back up to Alto Alto. Oh, let's not get into an extra fight. Don't want any extra fights. Mm. Now this takes me back to, yeah, three points. Oh yeah, that one's in three points. That teleporter's in three points. I remember now. Agave leaves mine. Okay, there we go. Ooh, got some nectar with us. Uh, you kidding me? Uh, okay. So, strategy, 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 strategy. 
uh, strategy. Okay, uh, kicking that as well. Let's throw the vengeance up. Let's get these guys ready to be knocked out. Come on, raw. Need myself some raw. Where are you, raw? Okay. Nope, 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 mm, might as well, okay, uh, there we go, we'll get raw here in a moment, well, very good, finance and security network engineer, that's awesome, you know, keep the computers running, making sure that there's no trouble, very nice, okay, guys, so, thank you so much for hanging out on the stream, of course, chat is wide open, so if you want to hop in on chat, you're more than welcome to, well, looks like we got a myth guy hopping in on the fight here. No problem, because I just saw my Ra coming around the corner. Very good. Let's go ahead and throw up another blade storm. Might as well. Might as well. We want to make sure we get rid of these guys all at the same time. Okay, so let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, it's the eye pet. It's kind of a cool pet. I'm not so sure. I've been, been kind of torn over that pet before. Okay, don't need that. Don't need him. Um, geez, I just have the two shields. Okay, that's fine. Let's pass. We should be able to do raw next round. Awesome. Okay, so, you know, so I guess I'm just going to monologue here for a while. If you guys are just joining the stream, thank you so much. Hopefully you're having a great day. I'm having a fantastic day. A little bit about myself as I've been teaching school now for it's been around eight years this is actually my second career my first career was working at a company called Guitar Center which I spent 12 years at and I did sales I did training as I also ran stores I was a regional training manager for the company for a while and I was a store manager for the company for quite a while um, had lots of fun doing that sold everything from guitars uh, to drum sets all the way to recording systems live sound systems in fact, uh, you know, I helped put really large multi-thousand dollar sound systems into churches, into clubs, um, recording systems in churches, as well as artists and everything. I got, I got, I was involved in helping to set up some of the recording systems for some really neat artists that are out there. Like, I don't know if you ever heard Destiny's Child, but that was a really popular R&B group um, back in the 2000s. And, you know, I was involved in selling them their studio equipment and stuff. Lots of things like that. It was a lot of fun. Those were many, many, many good years working for that company. Plus, it was nice being in the in the music industry, per se. And, you know, I got used to playing a lot with um, lots of different equipment, too. So, um, yeah, that's why I use the mic I do, because I, I use this mic for a lot of things, not just for broadcasting, but I also use it for when I'm doing songwriting and stuff and recording. So that's, that's a little bit of my background and everything, you know. Um, I tend to really like to do as good a production value as I can, but I'm still learning a lot of the tricks. No Kimmy say craft. No D diamonds. That's Friday and Sun. That's Friday and Sunday. But it's happy to see it. So happy to see you in the chat. What have you been up to, diamonds? This this um this is really my makeup stream for Wizard for my Tuesday Wizard 101 is what this is. So it's it's like my makeup stream since I so I wasn't feeling good yesterday. So I, I miss miss my stream yesterday. Yeah, and so hop back one here. But yeah, Kimmy say Craft will be back on uh, Friday yes, for sure. These are perfect for our needs. Yes, they are. Just exploring the ways of survival. Yeah, for sure. Shadow Weaver gliders took the brushes from my studio. As you'll need to defeat the Shadow Weaver. Okay, gliders. got to shoot the Shadow Weaver gliders. Get you. back. Let's do that. Yes. Well, you know how I am, Diamonds. You know, I I, I enjoy both games a lot, and I think being able to split them up makes it a little bit more fun for me. Um, and I, I enjoy playing it more since I, since I get to split them up that way, you know, if I'm getting, getting a little tired of one, I can hop into the other. And I also like the split and streaming too. So it's not like me streaming wizard day in, day out, day in, day out, because I split it up with my Minecraft streams as well. Okay. So today you got done some landscaping. Awesome. You got an iron farm and a better sugarcane farm. Yeah. I'm finding that I think I'm going to have to build myself a sugarcane farm. I was kind of avoiding it and just doing a manual sugarcane farm, 
but I'm, I really need the paper because it looks like I'm going to need it for trades. I was thinking about, do, I have another farm that I, that I did last season that I was thinking about doing, but I haven't decided whether I'm going to do it yet. What am I doing that for? But that's awesome. So you got some landscaping, iron farm, better sugar cane. I got to finish building a couple buildings. I got to finish training my masons so I can get bricks out of them. And I got to find the best, easiest way to trade for lots and lots of emeralds. I know a way to get lots and lots of emeralds. I'm not sure if I want to do it that way yet or not, though. That's, that's, that's the conundrum. Should I go ahead and do it that way? Should I go ahead and make myself the emerald farm or not? That's, that's what I'm struggling with right now. And I'm thinking I'm pretty close to making myself the emerald farm because the emerald farm would do a few things for me. It would give me a place to load up on experience, plus it would give me lots of emeralds. And I could use both of that. I could use a place to grab experience. I could use a place to grab lots of emeralds, too. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and do that. How do you make an emerald farm? Oh, there, there are ways. Um, basically, what their uh, emerald farm is one way of putting it. Another way you could put it, it's basically a raid farm. Okay, so what you're doing is you're using the mechanics of the raid to um, work for you, so that you can collect um, a lot of emeralds and some other things. And I'm at the kind of at the point now with my trader, with my villagers, since I'm not getting them all down to the lowest trades possible. I need a way to get lots of emeralds, and I'm thinking that's probably what I'm going to end up having to do. Not that I'm sad about it, because I did it last season, and I loved it. And I'm thinking about the point where I'm probably going to have to do that. So that might be my weekend project. I might be, might be working, working the um, emerald farm some. I had a lot of fun building the last one. It only took me an afternoon to do it. It's not a terribly compli- well, is, it is, well, okay. It's really specific how you have to build it. So is it complicated? No, but you got to be really specific about it, and you have to find an appropriate place to do it as well, you know. So that's um those that's that's my conundrum. And I was going to try to do the season without it, but right now the way it's looking, yeah, I need I need the emeralds so that I can start gathering the materials I want so I can really build, start building faster. But I did figure out how to um get my how to how to do the whole zombie cure thing without losing trades. I really really like, and that's. I'm pretty happy about that. That's working out a whole lot better now. Yesterday while I was online, I got that got that going pretty pretty smooth actually. Very good. Yeah, so if you're just joining and you're hanging out, um, me and Diamonds were talking some Minecraft because the other game I like to play a lot is Minecraft, and I run a server called Kimmy Say Craft, and I usually stream that twice a week, and I also um, Sorry, I also um, have a Let's Play that comes out twice a week usually, uh, videos on my YouTube channel as well, and encourage everybody to check that out. So you got your, yeah, I think you mentioned that somewhere, you got your trading hall done. So how many, um, how many villagers did you get set up eventually? Did you get all the villagers you wanted? Did you finish training them all? That's pretty, that's a, that's a lot of work to do a whole trading hall. Take some time. Let's see here. Eight for now, maybe more later. Yeah, sometimes, you know, it takes time to um, get all the villagers going and everything. You'll, you'll tell me the enchants? Well, go for it. Tell me the enchants. It's pretty cool. I just got myself, yesterday before I logged off, I got a protection four enchant, which is pretty cool. So you got looting three. That's, that's a pretty necessary one, I think. Feather fall four. Okay, I'll be visiting you for that because I don't have a feather falling four guy yet. Ooh, infinity? Yep, infinity's awesome. Efficiency 5. Very, very nice. Did I get an Efficiency 5? I think I might have. I think I can't remember. I not Mending? Yep. You, you almost got to do it just to get the Mending and Silk Touch. That's, that's a good set right there. So you got two more Villagers. What else do you have? Hmm. Fortune 3. I got one of those. That's nice. And one more. One more. You're holding out, Diamonds. Oh, a farmer villager for carrot trades. There you go. That that works. There you go. That works for sure. Well, honestly, with that set of stuff, I mean, that's that's great. I mean, you can usually enchant protection pretty easy on armor, so you don't necessarily have to have those books available. The only time they're really necessary is when you die and you lose everything. Oh, I'm glad I didn't do my raw yet since I just got, got somebody pulled into my fight. Okay. 
So this is your first time playing Real Survival? Well, it sounds like you're doing pretty good, Diamonds. Hopefully you're having a lot of fun with it because there's like lots of lots to do in it. There is a ton to do in Survival. Good, okay, now let's go ahead and maybe we can critical this raw and finish all three of these guys. Well, you're doing pretty good. Diamonds is joined my survival um, server, my SMP server, in which I play, which I do all my SM, all my SMP Let's Play videos in. And he's um, he's doing pretty good. Apparently, this is the first time he's really played real survival, and he's having a lot of fun. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yes, he finished them all off. Yeah. Oh, so you're making a storage room. Yeah, storage rooms are pretty important. That's on my list, but I don't have enough to really um, go for a big storage room now, so I'm just going to keep with what I have until I get some more buildings going. But, um, yeah, I'm getting ready to start one of my first big projects as soon as I get enough materials, you know. And, like, my, my first big project is going to be, cre is going to be cre creating the, the trade designation zone since I got the house done and everything. Very good. Okay, we got that done. So I guess we're going to go work the king now. Okay, so a gold... Hey, good. First fight, we got it. Nice. Toltec, talk to me. Good. They didn't destroy the brushes. Now we have all... Excellent. We Very good. Take the brushes, paint, and conch shell. You'll find the spot Popol Vuh spoke of. When you find it, paint the glyph for the way of it, and the path will open and lead you to King Neza. Very nice. Okay, so let's go back to the library, because what we're doing is we're looking for the back way through to the king, and we have to go through the library to do it. And we're going the way of it, or the way of the wizard, or something like that. Is that a flower I can pick up? Oh, yeah, that's one of the flowers I need to find. Very nice. Okay. Back into the library. Very nice. Yeah, storage rooms can be a lot of fun. Are you doing any type of automated automated sorting system in your storage room, Diamond? Because that would be the because that's the fun stuff there. That's one of the things I'm going to be looking at doing. Okay, I really don't want to have to fight those guys again. Okay, I'm you know that was a long fight to begin with. Let's just go up here and let's paint this thing. Okay. Good. The glyph Popol Vuh described, there we are. Showed you how to create, ah, the there's the secret way through. The magical light. Here we go. Yeah, you search some vids. You're living on space, though? Uh, I think you have more space than you think. Look, it's the king, and we don't have to how fight anybody. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sneaky. An outsider, I see. Come uh -huh. from another world. Oh, yeah. Ahoya! Ahoya! Okay, good, good, the good, good, good. The tongue tries to speak. To say our flower Zenzen is in their grasp. They salivate to know the secret of mm. Mother Moon. Are they? Tell us, outsider, is this true? Or is the shadow as capricious and inconstant as the piranha scissor teeth? I don't know. The Lady Zenzen, the heart of song, is free and safe. You bring light to the dark places, Oh yeah, outsider. absolutely. Go to Shalatl, the tower that was lost, and okay. find the shadow's tongue. We gotta find the shadow's Present tongue. Present our words like your own. Tell the shadow's tongue to fly or be torn out. Well, that sounds great. Okay, so we've talked to Neza the poet. Oh, let's look around this place. Is there any other cool things in here? Feathers, 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 flying saucers, maybe? Because you know, they hide things like that around here. Oh, I can't go up to the throne. Okay, anything cool over here? That looks pretty neat. Um, let's hear. Now, there's a couple of paths up. It won't let me go up those paths, will it? No, it won't. Okay. Back out. Have I seen your base yet? Um, I think I've been to your base. Yes, I have seen your base. Yes, Diamonds. You had some You had some pretty good things going, you know? I saw that you had your um, your sugarcane farm going and a few other things. I kind of liked the, how you decorated your portal. I thought that was really pretty nice. That was pretty neat, the way you did the nether rack as if it's coming out the portals portal stuff is coming out of the portal I thought that was pretty cool very very nice base redid sugarcane farm yeah you said that didn't you absolutely okay we gotta go talk to Zottle Zottle Z Zlottle yeah Zlottle yeah that's who we have to talk to uh oh let's just pick up this side quest while we're at it mangrove mania yeah, doing, doing that later okay whoops we gotta talk to Zlottle 
Here we go, right up here. As you walk up to the Zalotal Tower, there we go. the Umbra Legion guards make way for you. They uh -huh. seem to sense your mission of diplomacy. My mission of diplomacy. Okay, let's do this thing. Very good. I feel like we keep getting closer and closer. Yes. Boy, there's so, so much of this um, of this world left. It's crazy. I still haven't... It's taken me three hours. I'm still, in, I'm still here. Oh, it's Yakate. <laughs> I guess that's me. King Neza always did have a way with words. Okay. What message do you have for the Shadow Queen? Does he surrender? What? How dare you? <laughs> Shadow Queen will not like this news. Nope, nope. You can get I out of here. I just have to strike you down to make sure I have uh, something good to tell her. No, it's not going to work that way. Okay, let's go ahead and get our deck up. Great. And I think we should be okay as far as spells. Oh, what is he? He is a... Uh, okay. Your boss took three tries. That's okay. It happens sometimes. Let's see here. You know what? I've got a couple of Bagastians. Let's go ahead and put some guys, some Bagastians in there. And we're going to use that guy. Those, we're going to use those guys. Okay. Treasure car. Oh, but he's... Yeah, he'll be fine. Okay. Now we need shields. We need myth shields. Okay. This might be another long, drawn-out fight. But I think we're ready for it. Okay, Yakate Farwalker. Let's do this thing. That boss took you three tries? Ouch. That's, that's great. Love hearing that. Um, the worst part about it is he is... Um, let's draw and throw a shield one. The worst part about it is he's myth, so that means he's going to earthquake me. So i got to be careful about, with, about my, um, my blades. But then I have this um, myth... I'm sorry, I have, I have this balance minion that i got to get rid of too because the balance minion is going to be a pain in the butt for me to get rid of. Well, good. I'm glad the shield worked the first time out. Very, very nice. Yeah, some of these bosses, they'll take a couple times. Okay, let's see if I can't get through this one myself. Okay, we are not using Raw, but Chimera is who we are definitely going to use. So let's throw a Punishment, because we're not that far away from being ready to use Chimera if we do it right. Very good. So diamonds, that sounds exciting. I cannot wait to see what your next build is. Um, uh, you know, it was funny. I got on yesterday and Yos is all, hey, what you doing? Can you say you want to come and um, help me build part of my mob farm? Well, not really, Yos, but I'll do it because I'm a nice guy. So I went up there and built up one of his towers. Honestly, he just overbuilt. I mean, that's a pretty powerful mob farm. He probably would have gotten everything he wanted with one tower got a couple of spare hours yeah exactly you know because i built that mob farm before and one of those towers if you build it right uh you're you're in good shape i mean you really don't need um you really don't need anything else you will get so many drops from one tower and from one afk session it'll blow you away it just it's just that good that that type that style of mob farm is just that good it works so well because you know, I built the because I built that mob farm before I built one of them with one tower in on um, the first season and it was just um, killer it was absolutely awesome how well it how well it did okay we are going to go ahead and hit them hopefully they don't put any shields up oh I said it yep I said it let's see here don't put a shield up thank you thank you thank you okay let's take down the sh Let's take down the Shadow Weaver, and then we can start working on this guy right here. Nice. See, I timed that pretty good. Didn't get earthquaked and lost all my blades. Very nice. Okay. The iron farm was fun to make. Oh, yeah? What kind of, what kind of iron farm did you make? Did you use the one that a lot of us are using on the server, which is the basic, the farm style one? Or did you make one... Um, such as the rotating zombie farm. That's a pretty good one. Well, yeah, they all use villagers diamonds So you did the one where the zombie rotates around three or four. Oh, you did the farm style Yeah, honestly for like a single person if you're in that area and you're loading that farm up it produces a ton of iron You know very very good. I mean, it's not like a big industrial iron farm that can like 
triple that or anything like that, but it gives you a lot of iron. It's pretty good. Let's see here. So, ooh, let's pass. The one with three farms and the zombie. Yeah, that's a great one to go with. That's a good one. Yost is AFKing it. <laughs> I guess Yost needs some um, iron for that. That's what it sounds like. Okay, so I'm going to use one of these Bagastian crawlers right here. This guy is going to help take hits on him and distract him while I am loading up um, some shields and stuff and some pips. Yep. Another thing I like about these guys is they're only two pips. I mean, for, for being able to pull in a minion like that, only two pips. So it's well worth me throwing some, taking some time to do that. Yeah. Feather Falling 4, I'll tell you what, you should not be flying in Elytra without Feather Falling 4. Otherwise, you'll just die all the time. <laughs> feather Falling 4 is so important for me to live in survival. If I didn't have Feather Falling 4, oh my goodness, I, I would die so many more times than I already do. Also, when you start flying and you're trying to land on things, and you know, it just makes life so much easier knowing that you're most likely going to survive going to survive a, a big jump or something like that. It's okay, Bagastian. We're going to get revenge. Okay, let's see here. Well, I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and start setting my blades up and everything so that we can take this guy down. Very good. Nice. Yeah, this guy isn't as good as some of the other minions I've farmed before, you know, but I mean, he'll do, he'll do okay. Yeah, he got the advantage of my traps. You know, very good. Yeah, I farmed these this guy right here in Dragonspire, and eh, not 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 crazy crazy great, but I mean you know, they they do the job. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and start putting some shields up again, because he's going to start hitting us with some more myth spells if I'm not not careful of it. Very nice. Wow. Stream three hour stream is already getting close to six for my time. Very cool. Wow, it's been a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to dinner though, Diamonds. You know, I'm looking forward to dinner because we are having wraps. So that means my wife has probably grilled up some chicken. Um, we're gonna have some, maybe might have some rice, but definitely some lettuce and some stuff. Um, some, some, maybe some tomato or some spinach tortilla wrap thingies to put them in. It's gonna be good, good, good stuff. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and draw another one. Yeah, there we go. You had tacos. What kind of tacos did you have, Diamond? Did you just have the regular old beef tacos or did you have some fish tacos? You know, you live over there in California, land of the fish taco. Ooh, fish tacos. A fish taco. A really good fish taco is hard to beat. Hard to be. Oh, just beef and cheese? Well, that's, that's good, too. That is good, too. We have a place that's... That's right. You don't live in California. What am I thinking there? <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I don't know why. For some reason, I just keep linking you there for some reason. I apologize. I apologize. Let's see here. Let's do this. Uh, fish tacos, that's something that we are going to have here pretty soon. I like fish tacos. There's a place that we're, I'm going to take my wife out probably Friday. I don't know, maybe tomorrow. And they make the best fish tacos. What they do is they take the corn tortillas and, well, first they deep fry the fish in this really nice light batter. So it's a fried fish taco. They take the tortillas and they lay it in, um, what do you call that? They actually take the cheese, put it on the grill, take the tortilla, put it on top of the cheese. So the cheese gets all melty on the tortilla. Then they take the tortilla off with the cheese stuck to it, right? And then they put the fish in, then they put the, 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 the kind of like um, slaw on it, and then some jalapenos on top. And it is like the best fish tacos ever. It's just absolutely awesome, awesome tasting fish tacos. It is so, so good. I love those fish tacos. Super yummy. Here we go. Nice, nice. And loading up those blades, getting ready for the attack. Now, I did have three questions out there. So, 
the questions for the uh, for the hours. Let's go over them, and I would love to hear you guys if you want to answer them. So the first question of the first hour is, what do you like to do during summer? It is summer now. I would love to hear what you guys like to do during summer. One of the things I really like to do during summer is I like going when I can get a chance to go down the beach, do some swimming, or even just going to the pool. That's a lot of fun. One of the things I really enjoy about summer is getting out and doing those water type things um, because they're tons of fun. Um, second question of the day, I'd love to hear your feedback here. What is something that you that that is considered food but you don't consider a food? You think it is just awful, the food you dislike the most. And mine is Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are not food. They are something that parades itself as a tiny cabbage and they are nasty. It's not summer for you, Diamonds. What is it? What is it then if it's not summer for you? Oh, bye bye, Bagastian Grow Caller. Very good. Um, hmm, very interesting. Okay. So, Neris, why don't you come in and give us a hand here? I like the distraction. Oh, your, your school year is still going? Oh, dear. Ah, meatloaf. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you don't like meatloaf, Diamonds? Yeah, I don't think I'd like meatloaf either, but I, I think I'm still going to go for the worst for me is um, that other stuff. Yeah, um, Brussels sprouts. And the third question. This is a good one. What is the first video game you ever played? What is the first video game you ever played? Nowadays, with phones and everything, I bet you some of you started playing video games on a phone first, but I'm not sure what. What was the first video game you ever played? Doesn't matter. First video game you ever played. The first video game I ever played was on a game system that my parents had bought. It was called Pong. P-O-N-G. Pong. You should um, Wikipedia that. Pong. It's a um, little game system. It was um, basically two paddles on the screen, and you were doing like tennis back and forth with the ball. And you earn points by getting those, by getting that ball past the, your opponent. It was a two-player game. There was no, um, there was no player versus computer simulations. All, all PvP. But it was just, it was just two paddles, and you're just trying to, kind of, kind of like playing ping pong, you know. A little bit, but that's the first game I remember ever playing and having at my house was Pong. Okay, let's see here. Uh, alrighty. Hmm, I think I'm. We're getting really close to ready to do a judgment here, so let's go ahead and draw another card. Let's shield up so that we are in good shape here. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Diamonds, PC, phone, doesn't matter. What's the first video game you remember playing? That is the question for the last hour. Okay, let's see here, and, ooh, he's hitting us with the time thing. Ah, might have been Minecraft, actually. Really? Well, you're just a youngin'. You're just a youngin', that's okay. I, I, I can think back to way earlier stuff. It's a good thing I had a shield up for that. Jeez. Okay, mm, man. Let's see here. Yep, let's go ahead and do it. Let's put Vengeance up. Only 32 blocks to choose from. Yeah, no, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's pretty cool. You know, I think my kids, they, they, they played a variety of video games over the years. Let them get on the phones and play a game on the phone or something like that. Yeah, I bet you they'd have a hard time remembering what games they played and what games they haven't. Ooh, let's bring out the Gaston Crow Caller again. We'll have him hitting the big guy, too. Here's another cool thing about Monstrology. Now notice, how many minions do I have up and running here in the fight? Uh-huh. That's right. I have more than one. That's a very cool thing right there. Okay. Looks like we're in pretty good shape. We just got to, we just got to go ahead and land a nice big honk and hit on this guy. Okay. Let's put a couple shields on. And then if these guys don't attack next round, I'm going to put the um, feint on them, and then we're going to attack. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's some good sounding action there. Okay, so what are these guys going to do? Oh, nice. They're not going to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that on that. Let's go ahead and put my feint on this guy. So after your storage room, you're going to work on gathering supplies. Yep. Well, now that you have a storage room, you have plenty of place to start gathering. That's one of the things I've been doing is I've been doing a whole lot of mining to gather enough stone and everything so I can go ahead and make and build my, my um, first big building. You know. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Judgment. Okay. Cross our fingers. Please no fizzle. I don't want them to use my only feint. Ass. Judgment's in the house. Ooh, and a critical two? This might be over. Hello. Can't complain about that. That's some pretty good odds right there. Ah, yes. Diamonds, we did it in one shot. Check it out. That really hurts. I can't believe you did that. The Shadow Queen will hear me. Isn't this the second time sorry. I beat you? You're killing me, dude. Okay. Clear blocking. Hopefully. Yeah, we're in good shape. Fantastic. We just beat that guy down. We have now helped to restore the parrot i mean the avian kingdom I might make a creeper farm creeper farm is cool i already got a place reserved for a creeper farm if i end up making it but you know what i might just make it a, an overall mob farm because it's nice to have bones the only thing i really don't want is rotten flesh though i really don't really need rotten flesh rotten flesh is one of those things that you know if you're going to make a multi-mob farm you're always going to get rotten flesh and there's not a whole lot you can do about it either which is unfortunately um, no, no, I'm not doing that. I'm going over... Oh, I do have to go in the library. Okay. Because i got to talk to King Neza. There we are. I was thinking, wait a second, the arrow doesn't seem right. It's pointing me a different direction. But no, I'm in the right place at the right time. Hey, guys, thank you for hopping in and checking out the stream. My name's Kimisei. I'm here working my way through Azteca on my balance game. I don't know if you've, if you've seen these streams before, but this is my series of my balance character that we've been taking from zero, which we started in March, and we're going to max them out. I pretty much stick to all of just the um, main quests during the stream, and I do side quests off-site. So why is it not letting you trade for carrots? Oh, well, because he has a limit on how many trades he'll make diamonds, you did and then the you have to wait for tongue. another day before he resets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, you we did it. Sweet as honey. Yes, fantastic. Give to have seen that. Oh, yeah, we kicked his butt. Magician, I have another name. Oh, give me the name, you give me the name. The Azure Shining, Shining One of Song. Who is destined to fight the shadow. Okay, that seems fine. You must never waver in this age. Eh, battle, yes. Even when all seems bleak and Very fall, good. Go and find the flower of beauty. My granddaughter Zen Zen and King Neza. Uh-oh, it's and Morganth. The wizard, of course. Who else would be sending tremors through my web? Oh, yeah, 4041 Elmers? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Poor loyal Yakate did not enjoy meeting you. But now it's time It to should let me Z so I could take a picture. Why won't it let me Z to get a picture? This would be the perfect picture taking spot. My goodness, this game. Neza, I need your royal blood to find the Yeah, get some many books for sure. Moon. Help me and I won't shred Alto Alto into a million splint. You are the heart of darkness. Your Ooh. eyes are black holes Good king. radiating pain. Your words are chittering insect sounds. Oh yeah, you tell her. You tell her, king. You are no friend of mine. Good king, good king. Your friend? What is this nonsense? I don't want to be your friend. I want you to grovel and beg to serve me. Oh, uh, she's not very nice. Give me the secret, Man, gray feather. Let me take a picture. I'll ruin you and your I keep whole I'm like spamming Z, but she's going to disappear before I can take a picture. Azure shining oh. find Zen Zen I mean, it doesn't get better than this. Ask Onyx Rain Sun to show you the head of the sun. It can illuminate your way. Shadow Queen, daughter of uh oh, we're getting we're in trouble here. Lies. Your time is done. Come on, I want to get I want to get a selfie with uh, with with Morgan. Shall be our tomb. Oh, oh it's killing me. <laughs> oh no! Dang it! wasn't quick enough okay wow this was a mess oh my goodness so we have to go talk to onyx rain sun and alto alto because this is serious stuff well shoot perfect selfie spot to get a selfie with morganth but it wouldn't let me do it um wizard 101 i should you gotta let us get that selfie okay let's head out and talk to onyx rain sun down in alto alto and tell her what Tell him, tell him her. Yeah, tell them what happened because 
That was pretty serious. The king's gone. Morganth, like, made a big mess, you know? And we have to find Zen Zen. Here we go. There's the beak breakers. And what we want to get to is we need to get oh just right there we go Onyx Rain Sun talk to me Onyx. By Mother Moon and all the stars oh yes, very much so. King Neza commanded you to find Lady Zenzen yes. by using the head, the head of the sun. sun. Odd, but I'm sure he knew what he was saying. Uh -huh. The head of the sun. I knew what he was saying. Well, a stone head. It sits, sits in the cloudburst. cloudburst okay. And talks. Oh, okay. So, to the Cloudburst Forest is where we were going. And let's go find this head that talks. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. So that's what this particular stream series is all about. It's about getting this guy all the way up to top. Now, chat is wide open. You guys are always welcome to hop in and show. Ooh. Let's talk. Dawn and darkness. What kind of Why, it does talk. Are you? Okay. My beautiful oh, no. had been stolen. Okay. The, don't let him tweak your nose. The, the other one talks. Head of Hungry Knight. <laughs> him, okay, I so we gotta go fight some Shadow Weavers. Okay. Him, no problem. Get my jade horns back from the Shadow Weaver prowlers. I'll help you. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and see how many we can get really with a really quick fight here. Uh, Shadow Weaver Prowlers. They're not there. They're going to be down this way. So let's go ahead over this direction. And let's see if we can get some of those horns back from those Shadow Weaver Prowlers. Very nice. Okay, and there we go. There's a couple of... Oh, no, they're balanced. Why, why are they balanced? Um, yeah, I can probably still take them. I'll just take a couple extra hits. Awesome. Okay, guys. Fantastic. Thank you, everybody who's come in there. I want to take a moment just to do shout outs to all of the new followers this stream. I had a lot of great new followers, starting with um, Reverend Hayes, Asian Ninja Bear, Nick, uh, Mr. M yeah, Mr. Mr. Iridian Will Wildflower, Grizzly Bear, Richard, as well as Hamzy. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Slur Hedger, I am doing great. What is up with you? Thank you for hopping in on chat. Have you been having a great Wednesday? Because I have. Yeah, awesome diamonds. Fantastic. Yeah, my, ch my day has been going very good. Hopefully your day has been going well too. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to do some side questing here tonight and try to beat up Tartarus after stream or whether I'm going to go ahead and hop in on my Minecraft server and do some building. I'm torn because both are great things to do. And I'm kind of excited to do both of them. I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Good, I'm glad your day has gone very good. Well, I appreciate you hopping in on chat. Chat is wide open. You want me to do some Minecraft? Yeah, I, I need to do some Minecraft. I've got several things to do. But I just turned level 90. I, I'm ready to go do some um, go, to go do some attacks on Tartarus. Did I like the gift? I thought the gift was very nice. Thank you so much for the emerald block. That was pretty awesome. I saw it yesterday, and I quickly turned it into emeralds and traded for bricks. <laughs> yeah, I traded the emeralds for some bricks because I was making masons last night for my trading hall. So, yeah. Thank you so much. It was pretty awesome. I, I thought the gift was great. And nice. You know? Very cool. Very nice. Alrighty, let's see here. Okay, got rid of him. Oh, thank you so much for the following, Sir Hedger. I appreciate that. Slur I think it says, yeah, Sir Hedger. That's awesome. I like the call name there. Very cool. Where do you where do you um, holler from, Sir Hedger? Where do you come from? Oh, nice. Thank you for the follow, Captain Crones. Very, very much. Appreciate you guys hanging out in the stream and catching me. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and... Oh, they're almost done. Let's see here. Let's get rid of that. And, um, yeah, we'll do that. A good old Indiana, the heartland of the nation right up there. That's awesome. That's awesome. Has it been getting pretty hot for you guys up here? Because down in Texas, it is hot. This week, it's been like 90s for most of the week. We had a cool breeze come in today, which was kind of nice. 
but I know for the next four or five days, we're going to get a ton of heat. We're, gonna, we're supposed to be like in the mid-90s, mid to upper 90s for the rest of the week for us. Captain Crones, where are you from? Oh, Indiana too. That's awesome. We got the Indiana guys in the chat today. Fantastic. It's pretty warm for you guys too. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's rough. It's rough. At least down in Texas for sure it's rough. Okay. Let's, um, let's do this. Very good. Getting pretty warm for you too. Well, I can understand. That's pretty good. So, Sir, Sir Hedger and Captain Crones, both from Indiana. That's awesome. What are the odds of that happening? Hey, Loud Dude 513, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Killer, you guys are going to help me break my f total followers for a stream today. Awesome. So I guess if you're um, just catching me and you haven't followed, you know, join, join, this, join, this, join the um, run. It's about to grow some more. Very good. Very good, Loud Dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's, it's, pr it's pretty hot here, for sure, for sure. Awesome. So you guys all play some Wizard 101? Is that, is that a game for you guys? You all love the theme? Thank you, Loud Dude. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Just trying to trying to work my way through as Tekker right now. It's it's been one of those one of those games that just takes a long time. That's the tough part about Tekker. It just takes time. Go way back with the Wizards. How long have been playing, Captain Crones? I've been playing since since about 2008. Do you, go that, do you go that far back? You might from the way it sounds. Oh, you did a while ago, but have not gone back into it. That's okay. It's one of those games that. It ebbs and flows, right? I've been playing since 2008, but I haven't been playing straight. You know, I'll play for like a couple years or a year, and then I'll take a year, year or two off. So I go back and forth quite a bit. Oh, you're stuck in Marleybone. I love Marleybone. That's one of my favorite worlds. I really, I've always liked Marleybone. That's cool, though. Nothing wrong with being stuck in Marleybone. Marleybone's a cool place. Fantastic. Awesome. What, what's your favorite wizards, guys? What school do you guys like since since I got you there in chat? Very cool. Let's see here. Um, yeah, go for it, Eagle there. Nice. There we are. Okay, let's try this again. Should I go with that or that? That or that? Let's go this way. Okay, Death School. Fire, yeah. Diamonds is the fire guy. Death School for loud. Captain Crones. Ah, oh, you got back to it in 2019. That's awesome. And Sir Hedger, oh, you play Thunder, so you're Lightning Guy. Thunder Death. That's some good stuff there. Very cool. Yeah, I um, this whole stream series started with me back in March saying, I've never played a Balance Guy in all my 12 years of playing Wizard. I've never played Balance. So let's start a brand new Balance Wizard. Let's take him from zero, and let's max him out in stream. So basically, I just play the... Um, the main quest in stream, and it's taken me a couple months, but I'm already in Azteca, or I, or I'm actually getting to the end of Azteca, and it looks like my fight just got um, moved in on. Okay, so very good, very good. Uh, it's okay, very good. So yeah, and that's that's a lot of what I play. I'm a science teacher. I teach junior high science. I have a lot of fun doing that, you know, here in Texas. Good times. You know, one of my favorite years of science actually. So. Very, very good. And, um, yeah. <laughs> sure, I'm joined. Might as well. Everybody else has joined. Okay. Yeah, so that's um, that's a little bit about me. Also, um, I do have a YouTube channel. So if you kind of like the stream and the content, I do YouTube Let's Plays as well as um, some Wizard 101 videos as well. I do a lot of Minecraft too. So I stream four times a week. This is this is actually a makeup stream. Usually I'm streaming on Tuesdays, but I was, wasn't was feeling good yesterday, so I pushed my stream to today. I'll be streaming again Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this week. And that's um, a lot of what I do. Um, and like I said, if you like the content, you should check out my YouTube channel too, because that's always around, even when I'm not streaming. And plus I do all my... Um, I put all my... Um, stream replays there too in case you guys want to sit down and just chill to a stream replay okay this is starting to get hurtful so I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself very cool awesome well it's nice to meet all you guys let's just go ahead and go through the list I want to make I want to do some special shout outs to everybody that has given me a follow today which starts with um, let's see here Ooh, here we go with my with Reverend Hayes Asian ninja bear Nick Mr. Mr. Iridian Willowflower, um, Grizzly Bear, now Richard, as well as Hamzy, um, 
Sir Hedger now, Captain Crones, and Loud Dude. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for the follow. And I especially want to give a big thank you to Reverend Hayes for the subscription today. So thanks for the sub. That is awesome. Very, very good. Yeah, so we, I've been hanging out playing some Wizard 101. We've been talking a lot of things. Hey, guys, since you're just hopping in, there's a few questions I like to ask my chat throughout the stream. And right now, um, one of the questions we have going in this stream is, first, it's, it's summertime. What do you like to do most during summer? That's our first hour question. Now, we have a second hour question. Think about the food that you love to hate the most. Which food do you think shouldn't even be a food? Okay. And then the third question is, can you tell me the very first video game you ever played? That's a tough one, I know, but can you tell me it? Um, let me go down the list. So, for instance, for summer, I love to go um, swimming. I love to go down to the beach when I can because that's perfect summertime activity for me. I'm not a big summer guy, but those are the things I like to do during the summer. As far as food that I absolutely don't think is food, Brussels sprouts. I mean, I'm a vegetarian, but Brussels sprouts are not food. Or at least I was raised vegetarian, so I'm very, very comfortable eating just vegetables. But Brussels sprouts should not exist. And the third question, my very first video game. very first video game I remember playing as a kid when my parents brought home Pong. And if you aren't familiar with that, you should Wikipedia it. What is Pong? It's basically um, ping pong on a TV screen, but without any of the fun stuff that you get with ping pong, right? But it was a really cool video game at the time. So that's like the first video game I remember playing. Um, I remember playing at the house and stuff. So there you go. You can program Pong. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I can too. I've, I, you know, in my programming class, we have actually, um, usually once a year, I get my kids to the point where they can program um, a basic version of the, of the block breaker thing. Sir Hedger, thank you so much for the tip. I appreciate it. That is awesome. Fantastic. Yeah, so usually by the end of the year. Captain Crones, that's awesome. Thank you guys so much. You guys are killer. Appreciate that. Wow. It makes my life worth living. Worth living. Yes, it does. Very. Uh, talking to you guys makes it worth living. You guys make the streams so much fun when you hop in. You know, the, the, the not that they're bad streams, but the streams that just seem to last forever are the ones where, they're, where, I'm, where, I'm, where I'm here just talking to myself. But when you guys are hopping in there and chatting and having some fun, that's when it gets fun. Awesome. Yeah, so those are so those are some things. If you guys want to hop in on any of those questions on chat, that's great. But chat is wide open. So if you want to talk Wizard 101, some Minecraft, or anything like that, I'd love to hear from you guys. You. Thank you. you <laughs> but we got you your, um, your horns, though. Princess there we go. There's a path. There's a path of glowing yellow Probably the one right behind you, right? You okay, very good. That's what I love about this game is you don't necessarily have to be a detective. So let's go ahead and find the path of yellow flowers. Very good. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for the tips. That is awesome. You guys are killer. Okay, so hidden sanctuary right up here. Thank you, questing arrow, because it would probably take me forever to find some of the stuff if I was just looking for it. Okay, there that. Oh, that's what all these yellow flowers are for. Yep, yep, there we go. Ah, can you teach us programming and robotics? Well, can I teach you programming and robotics? Yeah, I can. It just takes some time. You know, I teach a programming class and I run two robotics teams at our school. And so we we um run a we 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 run to play in a competition called First Tech Challenge. So if you look up First Tech Challenge on the internet, that'll tell you a little bit about the types of robot stuff that we do and everything. It's a lot of fun. You come from like, oh yeah, for sure. Oh, you're in college and business and cybersecurity. Wow, Captain Crones, that is busy stuff. So, are, so I guess are you, are you um are you also a programmer since you're also looking into the cybersecurity stuff, or you just see a really good opportunity? And Sir Hedger, you're in finance and accounting. That's awesome. You got to have those guys. I mean, I'm not I'm not good enough to do finance or accounting. Can you say what class online? Okay, can you say what? that class online was called again oh i don't teach it online i teach it at my at, at my junior high school mm -hmm. sorry about that loud dude yep <laughs> diamonds majoring in school yes you are sir i need your help if i'm going to regain my strength 
You'll need get, to get some poison, some poison from the from Shadow, the Weaver. Shadow Weaver Prowler. Once you get the poison, take it to Popol Vuh White Paper in Alto Wow, Alto. they have us going all He'll over the place for this one. Okay, well, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Well, that's neat. You guys are pretty cool. All sorts of cool stuff there. Okay, so let's go ahead and defeat another Shadow Weaver again. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do it. Let's get it going. Okay. More for the opportunity, not too much of a programmer. My father is, though. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, I th yeah, there's probably a lot of opportunity in cybersecurity. I would agree with you there. Tons of opportunity there. And finance is super popular, too, Sir Hedger, for sure. You know, in fact, we had a guy earlier in the stream that he was doing, um, he works in finance, but he's actually a network engineer and security, so he takes care of their um, networking and, and, and security stuff. Um, Twisting Nip is, I believe, who that was. He's a pretty interesting guy, too. That's that's neat. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get the Blade Storm up. Let's get these guys out of here. Yeah, well, that's good. I think that's going to be a good opportunity for you, Captain. There's lots of opportunity out there for for that, you know? Me, I'm not that big of a programmer. I just teach it, you know? Um, when, I, when I started learning program, I was in high school, and the programming language they taught us was called Pascal. But you know what? A lot of the stuff they taught us in Pascal, a lot of the basics of programming, is still the same as it is today. You know, programming is really just learning the whole language of that particular, of that particular um, learn, um, protocol. And once you got the language down, um, the logical thinking and everything, that is very similar across most programming structures. It's just a matter of using the right programming language for the right application which is pretty cool. But yeah, fantastic. Yeah, sorry loud dude, that's not an online course. But you know, I could I mean, I could I could I could go over stuff about robotics and, and and programming with you guys if you want. But there's so many courses online now that are free that you can get into that can really take you take you there. Like Code Academy. Is it Code Academy? Hmm. I'd have to look them up again because I just don't have anything on hand right now. But there's a lot of great um, programming schools online that that will allow you to learn different stuff for free, which is fantastic. So do I enjoy mo robotics more then? I enjoy robotics because it's because it's a challenge. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I've heard of Scratch. Yep, absolutely, I've heard of Scratch. Um, what I like about robotics most is. Um, you know, is getting the kids to the point where they have a robot ready together for competition and taking it there and watching them do it. Because the way I run program, the way I run the robotics team is basically I get seventh and eighth graders. Usually, my seventh graders have never done anything before, like this before, and my eighth graders they've the year before they didn't know anything that was going on. So we're basically giving them skills and we're teaching them how to assemble things, how to work with gears, how to figure out some of the math in and how to work motors and and gear ratios and obviously he's trying to solve the problem for the competition so that's that's a lot of what we do and i don't do that during school hours we actually do that after school and on saturdays is usually when i do the programming stuff which is a ton of fun i i really i really enjoy it um it's a lot of hours though oh yeah for us to be competitive i put in usually an extra what is it an extra two four six eight 10, 12. I put in an extra 10, 12, 10, about 10 hours a week outside of regular school with my robotics teams to make sure that they're as competitive as they can. So, yeah, I, I really, I really do enjoy it. The programming, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's a class that I teach, and I teach it primarily just so that we have another elective at our school because our school is really bad at not having a whole lot of electives. But I stepped in and said, hey, I'll teach a programming class to help students. Also, it kind of helps out some of my robotics students because my robotics students, to one of the, pro one of the processes in building their robot is they have to actually program the controls and program the sensor so that the robot can think and do things for itself as well. So, But to be able to do that, they've got to have some basics in programming. So that's a lot of the reasons why I do teach the programming classes to help supplement my robotics team so that we can be more competitive and everything, you know. And, um, yeah, we have a, I, enjoy, I enjoy it. It's a lot of work, though. I get pretty worn out, especially during the fall semester because it's a lot of extra hours out of my day, you know. Um, and so, yeah, and so right now I'm trying to think of, okay, how can I adjust my streaming schedule in the fall so that I have plenty of time to do both? And so that's been my, my main thing I've been thinking about for the last, like, month or so. But a lot of it, you know, I'm not sure exactly how school's going to be in the fall because our school board's still sitting down to decide what the schedule's going to be like 
you know, um, still, and, and I know the robotics competition is still trying to decide how that's going to look here pretty soon, too. So there's still a lot of things up in the air, like it is for most places across the United States because of the whole virus and the whole quarantine and how, um, how a lot of people are still really worried and we're trying to do the things that are best for our students and best for the kids. So in a nutshell, yeah, loud, I love doing the robotics. Do I love it more than programming? Uh, they both have their good points. They both have their good points. You know, I really enjoy teaching the science, though. That is some fun stuff every single day. You know, or most days, you know, I mean, it's school, right? Not every day is going to be a fantastic day. And if you if you and if every day, every day is, you're probably not telling yourself the truth. OK, here we go. Let's see. Oh, still waiting for the pips. I need some pips, but she'll finish them off. Very good. Very good. Great questions. Thanks, Loud. And it's nice to really get to know you guys, Sir Hedger and Captain Crones. That's some great information. I hope you guys are doing really well. How many more years of school you guys have left before you graduate? Because you, you both said you were in college. Hopefully it's pretty soon so you can get out there and find yourself some work. Or at least get away from academia because I know if you're in college, that's it's a, it's a lot of school, right? A ton of school. I remember when I finally finished my master's degree. I was so happy. So happy when I finally finished my master's degree. It was a good feeling. Oh, your junior year. Oh, so two years away. My daughter, my oldest daughter, she just graduated college this month with her um, with her um, mechanical engineering degree. And so right, and her husband graduated at the same time. They got married like last year, and they both just graduated with their mechanical engineering degree. So I'm pretty super excited for them. But they're both right now looking for jobs. So now they're now they're at the end. So they're they're in the tough part of it all at the moment. But I think they'll do well. I think they're going to do okay. So I'm so good for you, Sir Hedge. You got a couple years for this virus stuff to fade out and everything to get back to normal before you have to do some job hunting. That'll be good for you for sure. Okay, let's throw up some blades and let's get these guys ready to get, knock them out. Awesome. Well, that's great, Sir Hedger. Fantastic. Diamonds, you still have a ways before you get there, though. He's, you you got to get to high school first. Ah. <laughs> you go get some food, loud dude. You are always welcome to come back in the stream. Hope to see you again. Next stream will be Friday afternoon. I'll be doing some Minecraft if you don't mind some Minecraft. Thanks so much for stopping in. Get some, get some dinner. Enjoy your evening. Okay, let's see here. Let's throw some vengeance up. Ooh, I got to start getting close. You already have 45 D1 scholarships? That's awesome, Diamonds. That is great. Have you decided where you want us to go to school yet, D? Here we go. Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's throw up another. Oh, yeah. Another blade real quick. OK. Oh, you love Minecraft. It'll be there. Awesome. Because I love Minecraft, too. That's the other game I stream twice a week. So remember, I stream four days a week to usually Tuesdays, not Wednesdays, but then Friday, Saturday and Sunday. You can find me on online doing some stuff in the afternoons. So you're going to go to Elon Musk's College in Mars Diamonds. Good for you. Good for you. That should be an exciting and advent an exciting adventure. Awesome, loud dude. Well, hopefully I'll catch you later in the stream. Thank you. I hope you have a great evening and a good couple days till Friday. Fantastic. Elon Musk's and Mars Diamonds. That sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. Well, he's got to get that place built up first though. He's he's got to go ahead and figure out how we're going to get everything over there and we got to got to get some people to actually decide to go there, you know. Um, yeah, there's still a lot that goes on. I wonder if they'll actually grow potatoes. Anybody catch that? I wonder if they'll actually do potato growing. Because they got to figure out how to do some sort of crops. And they've got to figure out the best way to, um, the best types of domes that are going to give them an environment in which they can survive. You know. But honestly, they, they really need to do the moon before they get to Mars. The moon is a lot closer. Um, wow, that did... Yeah, that did terrible. Bra, you're not doing it for me. Okay. Yeah, I really think, in my opinion, I think they ought to go ahead and get to, um, they, re they really need to go ahead and get to the moon. We need to get a moon base first before we go to Mars. Because a moon base would be really good. A moon base could give you a forward location. It'll give us a chance to really test living on another surface and being able to create um, pods, and then this is just my opinion. 
you know, I think going to the moon um, and, and actually establishing a moon base would actually give us so much information that would make a Mars thing actually really possible. So I, I, still, I think we got a few steps we would need to take before we actually start shipping stuff to Mars. It'll be a little while. But Diamonds, you're young enough, it could very well be that something's out there by the time you get ready to go. That's cool though, that's awesome. Great, great ideas, great ideas. Very good, okay, so let's see, what else is happening right now? Good, okay, so we still gotta take care of these Shadow Weavers, uh, because I keep, my goodness. Let's go ahead and get some healing on. I hate balance opponents. Maybe I, maybe I should start using the other deck. Because these guys resist. Ugh. Killing me. Okay. Let's throw Vengeance up and let's see if it's going. Okay, guys. So, very happy to have you guys here in chat. Um, let me go ahead and, again, I do want to say a big thanks to um, new... To our to my new subscriber, Reverend Hayes from earlier. Thank you so much. And thank you everybody who has given me a follow today. This has probably been one of the biggest follow days all year. Thank you so much. Fantastic. I think we set a record for follow today. Let me count them out. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we got like eleven new follows today. That was fabulous. I died. That's fantastic. I died. Okay. Okay. Then I will pass. Thank you, Bryn Shadow Rider. Thank you so much. Boy, somebody came into my rescue. Isn't that awesome? Very, very cool. Well, that's awesome, guys. Alrighty. So, just a few more things about me. Just a few reminders. I do stream four times a week. I stream Wizard 101 here on, well, usually Tuesdays, but today... Um, it's a it's a it's a day late, as well as on um, Saturdays. I stream my I stream Minecraft on Fridays and Sundays. Have a lot of fun doing that. If you like the content, I would encourage you to go check out my YouTube channel at Kimmy Say Gaming at YouTube. Um, you can hit YouTube in the comments ex exclamation point YouTube in the comments to get an address if you need it. Um, also, um, I've been yeah, and I have let's plays on there as plus as well as I put my stream replays there. So if you like to chill and just watch a stream replay, they are sitting there for you, which has all my different parts of this particular stream um, going for a while. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Yep, I understand it. Sometimes your deck gives you cards, and sometimes it doesn't. Very very cool. Okay, so. Nice. Um, I'm going to keep passing. She says she's going to heal me. I'm going to go for it. It was my fault I died anyways. Ah. Okay, so very cool. Let's see here. If she can heal me, I might stick it through. Well, thank you, everybody. It looks like we're getting towards the end of the stream, so I just want to say thanks. I appreciate everybody who's hopped on the stream today. You guys made this a really fantastic Wednesday stream, especially since I wasn't able to do my regular stream yesterday because I had um, headache issues and I decided to rest instead. So thank you for showing up for the makeup stream today. Hopefully I'll see a lot of you on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, all streams this weekend. And I hope everybody does really, really well. This is Kimmy Say, and I'm going to have to, yeah, even though I'm kind of still working in a fight. I'm going to have to call the stream because I got some real life things I got to take care of. So Diamonds, I hope you got, I hope you have a great weekend. Sir Hedger, if you're still there, and Captain Crones, thank you guys for hopping there at the end. I appreciate everybody, and I hope you guys have a great week. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to talk about next week in chat, or check out my videos and give me a subscribe and a thank on YouTube and a like on YouTube, and that'd be awesome. Thanks, Sir Hedger. Hope to see you again in another stream. Catch you later. Bye-bye.